So I'll explain a few things that probably are common sense to you. So your ship is rainbowish, right? Is that you? Yeah, yeah. You can see me outside your window. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So in front of your ship, that's your map, your navigation. Um, mm -hmm. Let's dive into it. So hit square on your navigation. Mhm. Mm and are you on Earth right now? Yeah, I am. Okay. If you hit circle, it'll zoom out and show you the whole solar system. Mm -hmm. So if you ever want to move quickly to a different planet, you don't have to follow the arrows or junctions. You can just hit circle and then choose your choose whatever planet you want to go into. But let's zoom in on Earth again. So just hit mm -hmm. X over Earth. Yeah. And then you should have blue dots, blue nodes that are just like, you know, vibrating. Womp, womp, yeah. womp. Okay. Yeah. So when... When you finish all those blue nodes, you have unlocked the planet. And when you unlock the planet, you get special missions. Um, mm -hmm. Like, uh, what, do you, what do we call it? Nightfall missions? Stuff like yeah. that appear. And then they give special mm -hmm. rewards and special, I don't know, special shit that you need later on. So mm -hmm. what you want to do, your main goal for like the beginning of the game is to try to get, mm -hmm. or beginning to mid of the game is to try to get through every node on every planet and along the way you'll unlock story missions and special stuff are you cooking uh i forgot that i disconnected my little oven uh -huh. So my pizza has been cold all this time. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you burned something. I, I heard beep, beep, yeah. beep. Go oh. hell. No, no. So this is going to be kind of a pain to listen to me talk, but nothing is explained. So uh, you can yes, either... It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> If you want to, you can do what I did and spend hours and hours on Google and YouTube, or yeah. I can explain it to you. Because this will be faster. Uh, I would say. Your voice is moving. <laughs> it's okay. So, on the map, if you're still on Earth, bottom right, there's some mm -hmm. weird looking tool. And if you ho hover over it, it says deploy extractor. Ferrite. It shows you four different things. Yeah, ferrite, rubedo, right, newer right nodes. Down. Uh, detonate. Uh, Those yeah. are the like in Destiny. You know, you can get different uh, planetary mm -hmm. materials. Same thing. Mm -hmm. So if you ever need to make something, and it says you need a certain item, you can hover. You could go into each planet and hover over this thing at the bottom right, and see if that planet gives you these rewards. So when you finish, uh, when you play through a mission, if you break open stuff open shit on you know that's closed lockers that are closed or kill enemies they all drop this type of thing fastest way to collect things is to actually kill enemies is faster than breaking everything open mm -hmm. so so just keep it in mind if, if you ever need to know where can i get that thing that i need to make a weapon just go into a planet and hover over it eventually you can deploy an extractor so it's a like a Roomba that'll work on the planet and just suck things up for you. It'll only collect yeah. one of those four things. But you, mm. to do that, you need to unlock the whole planet. So you need to get rid of all the blue nodes. And once you okay. can do that, then you have the extractor. So on the top, uh, top right, you have... Mm. How many icons do you have? One. Just one. Um, hit... R1, and that'll open up your menu on the top right. Okay, I only have Does one, it... yeah. One quest. You only have one thing? Okay, it's a quest yeah. mission? Okay. Mm -hmm. Eventually, you have events, alerts, and syndicate, s stuff mm -hmm. like that. You'll get a lot more, but that's that's like a special quest, that, I mean, special missions that you can do to unlock extra things. Alerts are the most important because alerts give you extra mods, extra junk that you can't get from planets. You can only get it from that. You find that out. There are certain things you can only get in certain places, and that's not on planets. You have to play a certain quest. You have to go talk to Xur. 
you have to do alert missions, so eventually you have to start paying attention to it. I never paid attention to it in the first 50 hours, and then I found that, oh, I can do these things and get extra powerful stuff from this menu up top. That's what that's for. Okay, so hit circle twice, and that'll bring you back into your spaceship, get you out of the menu. Yeah. Um, Right-hand side, the news thing, that's the really nice part where you can read about updates and things where you can get... Mm -hmm. It'll tell you, like, if you log into Twitch in two hours, you can get free stuff. It'll tell you stuff like that. Left-hand side is Syndicate. Syndicate is like the NPC clan, so it's not Mm -hmm. like the real person clan, but you get to choose a Syndicate, and then you can unlock special mods and weapons that you can't get anywhere Mm -hmm. else. Can you choose a syndicate right now? No, it's offline. Okay. Eventually you unlock it. As soon as you unlock it, choose a syndicate. Ask me first, because the way syndicates works is you have your main syndicate, they have an ally, so... You get full XP for your main syndicate, you get half XP for your ally, but then everyone else turns into an enemy. Mm -hmm. So that means you can unlock, out of six syndicates, you can unlock weapons and mods for two of them, but the other four get locked away. So if you're going to play this game, then we shouldn't choose the same syndicates. That way I can give you free stuff from mine, and you can give me free stuff from yours, and we can just trade it. Mm-hmm. Because the rewards are not the same. Okay? okay, so that's syndicates. And then if you go back to your right, past the news, there's a market. Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, open up your market. Okay. And then you can search by clicking in your left thumbstick, or you can just do categories, hit the triangle, it'll show you categories. Let's go to weapons Mm -hmm. and primary weapons. And then are you in there? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, So scroll down a little bit to you get to boar, B-O-A-R. Boar. Okay, yeah. Master Okay. So... On the right-hand side, it'll tell you information about it, but right underneath its name, it'll show you 225 platinum. That's real-world money. The only way you can get platinum Mm -hmm. is if somebody spends money. So if somebody else spends money, and then you sell an item to them, then you can get platinum. But if you don't do it that way, you have to actually spend money on the PlayStation Store. But to avoid that, almost everything, 98% of the things in the game can be gotten a different way. So if you hit right one, R1, right bumper, Mm -hmm. um, it should show you an option to purchase. It's still locked for you, but it should show you an option to purchase it with credits, which is a free in-game currency that you have like Mm 200,000 of. Maybe not on mm. boar. Maybe it doesn't just show me anything. I just have the name of the weapon. It doesn't change anything. Oh really? When you hit right bumper? Yeah, blueprint. Yeah, yeah it's blueprint. Like, um, I'm filtering. Let's just say blueprint, and then it should change from platinum to credits. You don't see it? Mm, no, I don't see anything. Okay, you back out of boar and then scroll over to the right and go to Burston, because I see it there. Work so you should hopefully time. see it too. Going back to weapon, primary yeah. weapon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Burston. Uh, yeah, I have Burston, yeah. Oh, okay. The only thing I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you what I see. I have the name, Burston. Mm-hmm. I have yeah. what it looks like. I have a um, minus 50%. On top right, and yeah, and I have a one day, 22 hours on top left. That's all I have on burst then. Maybe if I click on it. Oh, there we go. Oh, you I never click clicked on, on it. Okay, I told yeah, you to select it. Yeah, I, me- I meant, yeah, click on it. Yeah, okay. 
So yeah, I have um let's just say one twenty related. Right? Fifteen thousand purchase blueprint, yeah. Yeah, when you hit R1, it says burst in blueprint, and then it has 15,000 credits, right? 15,000 yeah, of the blue. Yeah. So the okay. 120, that's real money, right? 120 is real money, and that's the platinum. You see, I don't know what it, what it looks mm -hmm. like. It's like a, I have 200 of them. But yeah, yeah, don't yeah. spend it. Don't spend it mm -hmm. at all. But if you go right bumper, you have 15,000 credits. Credits are what you get yeah. for free. Wait, every yeah. time you kill somebody, it usually drops mm -hmm. the free money. So, if you ever need to buy weapons, look for the blueprints that cost the, uh, you know, credits. Don't mm -hmm. buy the actual weapon with real money. But this mm -hmm. is the way to do it. You need to do it later on. So, I'm just showing you how to do it. Because there's like 20,000 threads on the subreddit of how do I buy things for credits. Because people don't mm -hmm. notice that you can hit R1. Or they don't know you can do it from the market. Because they think... Market means you have to spend real money, so they never go into the market to see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So in the market, you can spend in-game currency too. You don't have to spend. Yeah, real well, money. you're basically building the um, for fifteen thousand credit. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. stuff like this, like basic weapons like this, you're gonna have a shit ton of mm -hmm. all of the. Oh, there's a stuff. coupon. Okay, so I can I can buy it for just seventy five hundred. What's Less your coupon? Minus. 50% off of the so, credit. Uh, yeah, um, when you get 50% off or 75% off, that's a good time if you want to, to mm. buy the platinum, the in-game, the actual real-world money. Because yeah. that's that's worth a lot more than just buying a weapon or something that you can make on your own anyway. Mm. But it's going to expire I don't know if you're gonna like the game enough. I would say don't don't buy anything. You know, if you're getting tempted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So back out of market, and then we're gonna go oh. all the way to, to the left hand side, past the syndicates. You have a codex. Yeah. That's yeah. The you, grocery thingy. Yeah. Well, first page is quests. So this will show mm -hmm. you what quests there are available in the game, and then. If you haven't unlocked it, it should tell you how to unlock it. Like, go talk to this person yeah, to get the next quest. Yeah, and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah. If you yeah, hit yeah, R1, yeah. you can move over, and then that's your mm -hmm. glossary. So you don't have to mm -hmm. go to a website, you know, and then look through everything. But the thing is, I didn't know this either. Um, you have to own it or scan it in order to get it into your codex. It's not automatic. Mm. So certain enemies, you don't know anything about them until you scan them. Certain items, you don't mm -hmm. know anything about them until you scan them. And this is a, it's a good thing I told you this, because you can back out of it. That's really the only thing that's needed over there. Actually, mm -hmm. let me see. Yeah, well, there's tutorials in it if you keep scrolling over. You don't really need to know about it. Um, go back to market. We're going to need okay. you to purchase a scanner because you're going to be using a ton of it. So once you're in the market, hit your left thumbstick. And it should bring up a search okay. bar. Yeah. Type in scanner. And then enter. Okay, so one of the results once you type in scanner should be codex scanner. Codex, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Click on it. Yeah. And it'll let you buy 25 at a time. Go ahead and buy like 75. Spend 1,500 credits. 
And you should only have an option to purchase it with credits, so you don't spend real world money. Oh, it's 25 times codex. Yeah. So oh, yeah. You to buy three of them. Right, yeah. I told yeah, you it's, okay. good it's thing a stack of 25. Yeah, good, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Good thing, I, good thing <laughs> it didn't go for 75. I was like, wow, that's a lot of money for the freaking <laughs> scanner. Alright, so purchase. Yeah. I don't know. If I use the coupon they give me, I'll just use 250. And, oh, you know. does it let you spend it on credits? Yeah. Oh. Interesting. So Don't use buy... the coupon on this. Yeah, yeah. Because we can find more expensive things for you to buy. Okay, I'm gonna purchase it anyway. Yep, purchase it. Purchase Kodak for 75 uh, for a total of 1500, yes. Alright, I got it. Ooh, okay. Uh, back once and then go into search bar again. Mm hmm. And type in H E K. Heck. H E K. Heck. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I got it. Mastery locked. What mastery is it? Mastery Four. locked. That's that's. Uh, one, yeah. I think. This is requires mastery rank four. No, oh, no, mastery locked four. Yeah, four. Yeah. Yeah. Scroll over to the uh, blueprint. Mm -hmm. How much is it with a coupon? Because that game, that gun uh, is one of the best ones in the I game. Cannot, I cannot buy it with a coupon. It's twenty-five really? grand, though. Yeah. So coupon works on the scanner, but not heck. Yeah. Oh, because some reason. Because it's Maybe mastery because lock. Unlocked it. Yeah, I think it's mastery lock. That why. sucks. The because if one... you can spend it, you should spend it on this. Yeah, because the other one, the, when I look at the bastion or whatever, the other war, I could I could use the the coupon. Yeah. Does the coupon tell you when it expires? When you scroll all the way up. Uh, one day, twenty-two hours. Man. Okay, let's back back out okay. of it. Yeah, actually, I can. Actually, the the hack. Mm -hmm. It says one day, twenty two hours, fifty percent. So I need I need to mastery unlock it to to get it right. fifty percent off. Right. You gotta get to rank four, which you can do in like four hours, if you want to. Well. So let's talk about let's talk about leveling then. Mm -hmm. Go all the way to yeah. Go go down. Um, to the arsenal, mm -hmm. back of the ship. Yeah. And then open that side. up. And you just see your character and your loadout mm -hmm. on the left hand side, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So on your character, what character did you choose? Mm, I think I'm Excalibur. Something like that. Excalibur. Oh, you chose a good one. I chose the wrong one. Okay. So, if you hover over your Excalibur on your left-hand side and hit triangle, mm -hmm. up top it says upgrades Excalibur yeah. rank 1, right? Mine is 5, yeah. 5? Oh, you rank 5? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, every weapon, every character, all those goes from rank 1 to 30. For, if you wanted to buy Hex, you need to be mastery rank four. Mastery is your account. So if you want to get your Excalibur from level five where you are now to level thirty, mm -hmm. we could do that mm -hmm. in two hours. Okay. When you hit rank thirty, it goes into your mastery rank pool. It it gives you XP for your main account. Mm -hmm. So if you rank up Weapons, uh, gear, and characters, ranking all of those up goes into your main account XP. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, I understand. Okay. Okay. So, when you get a chance, you should always be equipping new weapons, new everything. Like, you shouldn't be oh, using... 
you shouldn't like find a good weapon and stick with it unless you know you're gonna be soloing and you're having a hard time and you like fail a mission mm -hmm. that's where you want to go back to like your best weapon but because you can play publicly it'll match make you with other people they can help carry you so while you're leveling up you should just always buy new things unlock new things or make new things and equip it and just use all the new things Mm-hmm. Okay. Until I master it, and then I. And then if to it's one. right, if it's a shit weapon, go ahead. You can sell it. Mm -hmm. Or if it's a good weapon, you can keep it. If you like it, you keep it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you need to sell it, just back out of everything right now. Get out of your mm -hmm. arsenal. Mm -hmm. And hit your options. Mm -hmm. Options button. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Then go into equipment. Mm-hmm. Then go into inventory, mm -hmm. and it shows you everything. The first page is everything, but you can filter by hitting your right or left bumpers. Mm -hmm. So if okay, you hit yeah. your right bumper, it'll show you what characters you have unlocked. If you hit it again, it'll show you what weapons you have and what level they are. So level 30, 30 stuff that you'll never use again, go ahead and like select it and sell it. You, I don't think you have anything at 30 yet. But yeah. like like your starter weapons, you can sell all of those, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. Because if you'll run out of space uh, too, and if you want to buy space, the only way to get it is to pay full price of the real world money. Mm -hmm. So that's why you want to save your real world money because you will need space for more weapons, and you'll need space for more characters. Well, characters are, especially, you really want space for that. Because that's like, you know, in Destiny, you say, no, nah, I'm good with just the Hunter. There are better characters out there. You want to play Warlock, you want to play Titan, but then there's 40 of them. Mm -hmm. So you want to keep playing those. Okay, so let's go back into your arsenal. And then scroll over your character. And then choose the triangle to upgrade. And then at the bottom of that screen are all the mods that are applicable to that, yeah. whatever you chose. Go ahead and mm -hmm. drag and drop them in and fill it out. Um, I gotta, t I gotta go take this phone I call. Can, yeah, I can only do two of them, but that's okay. Yeah, I'll explain it to you in a second. Um, I'll be back. I'll be back in like two mm -hmm. minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Okay. I am back. Mm -hmm. So, we are almost done. We're about to get to the meat and bones of the game. It will be a lot faster if I can actually show you. So I'm trying to describe everything. Do you have your phone or your no, laptop I'm around you? Switch. Yes, that's what I'm switch. suggesting. I think there's like a 10 second delay too, so I have to pause every once in a while when I start talking about something. Alright. So I need you to actually follow along in the game. Oh Jesus, I can hear myself. <laughs> okay. So I'm guessing you're looking at my screen now. Mm-hmm. Okay. So your loadout is literally your loadout for what you take into missions on the left-hand side. I need you mm -hmm. to select gear at the bottom because just because you bought the scanner camera doesn't mean it's equipped. So you need to select gear and choose okay. one of the slots, hit X on it, and then it'll allow you to scroll around. You can scroll up and down and mm -hmm. choose what you want to equip. So equip your okay. scanner to one of the slots. Mm -hmm. And then when you're in the game, you hit the down arrow on your dash pad to pull up the scanner. Mm -hmm. So every once in a while there are things you need to scan. There are things that unlock codex, unlock lore, stuff like that. And then eventually you get special scanners that you use for mm -hmm. quests. So you need to equip it there. So anytime you need gear. So if you look at my screen, I also have this thing called a Vapor Spectre. I can equip other things. So I'll mm -hmm. go to an empty mm -hmm. slot, hit X, scroll around. I, mean, I guess I only have the Spectre here. But Spectre is an ally you can deploy. So if you're ever mm -hmm. playing solo and you feel overwhelmed, if you have gone into your gear and equipped the Spectre, then you can choose it during a mission and it'll automatically spawn that AI. Some of them are great because you can be you can choose level 30 weapons, level 30 character for yourself, and then when you choose a Spectre, like the Vapor, it'll make an exact carbon copy clone that even casts spells. It'll use your mana. I mean, it'll, it has its own pool. But stuff like that. Yeah. So you can equip the best things, then create a specter, and then go back to leveling your regular stuff. So if you ever get in trouble, it'll spawn a copy of yourself that's at the max level. Okay. I, I hear you getting your pizza out. No, pizza in, actually. Another the pizza juice. in. Nice. Gotcha. So in the forge... This, here's a pro tip. On my screen, you see that I've s loaded a cipher. Mm -hmm. While you're playing a mission, uh, eventually you get to lock doors, and then some missions are spy missions, and you need to unlock certain doors. Yeah, They're on a mm -hmm. timer. And sometimes you're panicking, and you really don't have time. Like it, There's very little time to crack the code. This, this is a shortcut. If you make ciphers, which doesn't cost that much, you can just open up the uh, the lock and then just hit triangle. It'll auto-solve it for you. But you need to equip it in your gear. That's going to come in handy. Okay. Can you select companion loadout? So you have a companion uh, you can choose, and underneath that it has a weapon that you can equip to it. Mm, so is that locked yeah. out for you? No, no, no. I can... Okay, so select, X, hold X on it. It'll show you purchasable ones, or if it doesn't have a platinum number next to it, that means you own it. So for me, I only own one. I have a tax on. That should be the free any. one. Okay, so you'll get it. It's a free one. It's your first one. Mm -hmm. okay. But eventually come to this and equip it. So if you hold X on it, you can see when you're hovering over it, X means equip. 
but then triangle mm -hmm. is upgrade and square is appearance. So don't just equip it. Equipping gives you the base stats. You always need to hit triangle and upgrade it. And that's when your mods come into play. So you should see that on my screen. Right? Yeah. Okay. So right where my reticle is hovering, it's the first slot. The way the mods work is it goes left mm -hmm. to right on the top row, and then it goes left to right bottom row. That matters later on when you're trying to stack different uh, elemental damages and stuff, because it reads left mm -hmm. to right, but it, the most significant is the one closest to the end. So if you stack electricity, cold, and heat, but you have cold and heat at the end and electricity before that, then it's only going to count cold and heat because it can only take two elemental damages at once. So it's going to ignore the least significant slot mm -hmm. or digit. Now, when you stack these in, right where my reticle is hovering, I know there's a 10 second delay, but it says capacity. And if you haven't leveled it to max 30, it's going to be whatever level you are, like on your main character is five. So it'll say zero or five out of five available capacity. So that means you yeah. have to choose mm -hmm. yeah, your elements so that you can only put in up to five. But there is, um, I don't know what you call it. They, I forgot what it was called, actually. There's, there's a little character on the top corner of each mod. It, it'll look like a triangle or, or a slash yeah. or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. whenever, mm -hmm. whenever you match those... Oh, that's called polarity. Whenever you, So I'm going to take a seven tile, a, seven, a mod that costs seven, and I'm going to drop it in to my first slot. It has the same matching polarity. It's not mm -hmm. going to cost seven. It's going to cost half, but it'll round it up. If it's an uh, an odd number, so it should be three point five. It costs half, but it's going to round it up and say it costs four. But that's the way you can save some of the mod capacities. So when it says you only have um, five that you can spend on capacity, if mm -hmm. you have a matching polarization, then you can actually use more than five because. Anywhere you match it, it's only going to cost half. And that does come into play later, because at the bottom of the screen, when you're in upgrade, it says hit right thumbstick 3 for actions. I'm going to hit that, and it's going to bring up a menu. I'm going to wait a little bit so you can see it on my Twitch stream. Mm -hmm. But one of the menu options is polarization. So you can select it, and you can choose one of the empty mod slots and give it a polarization. So if you know you have a really expensive mod that takes like 16 capacity and you don't want to spend 16 on it, you only want to spend 8, then you can choose a new polarization and then yeah. apply it. But it, but when you do it, it'll reset your weapon back down to 0, you gotta, you gotta play and you know rank it back up to 30 later and it costs a special item to do it kind of easy to get so that's your modding and at the bottom where I, I was showing you the different options one of the options is mods which is really helpful so you're only looking at the mods you currently have equipped on whatever you know your 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 pet your weapon or your character so when you hit square and go into the mod screen, instead of seeing all 500 mods that you own, it'll only show you what you have equipped. So there was a station you looked at on day one when you played Warframe where it told you go mod something, and it was super confusing. We're back at that station, but it's only showing you what you wanted to use anyway, what you have equipped, and so showing you every single item you own. So... Can you see that on my Twitch stream? Yeah. Okay. And this is this is really the last part. You shouldn't just use a 
a mod without upgrading it. Um, so if you choose something like the base that base mod on what I'm highlighting here that'll show up on your stream here in five seconds, it's called Enhanced Vitality. I have it equipped on my on my little uh, machine, my pet. It says plus 20% health, but that's not good enough for me. I want to upgrade it. So I'm going to select it, and I'm going to choose Fusion. Mm -hmm. And then it gives me an option. Every time I hit plus, it'll increase it. You can see on the left-hand side, it goes from 20% health to 40% health. But it also means that instead of using two capacity, it uses three capacity. So I can upgrade all of my mods. And on the mm -hmm. right-hand side, it tells me how much it's going to cost me. It's going to cost me money, the, the free money, mm -hmm. in-game currency. It says 483 if I want to up it one. But it also costs me 10 endo. Endo is the special currency you need just to upgrade mods. That's the one I was telling you. You maybe get 15 per mission. But if you get the stars and the statues and give it to the collector, then you get 3,000 of them. And you really need it, because you need to be ranking up all of your mods as much as possible. So if you want to save this, then you know, hit Apply Fusion. I'm not going to do it now, I was just showing you as an example. But modding is the core of the game. Mods are the core of the game. Because your base stats only work for like the first three missions. After that, you need to be modding. And that's where it gets fun. Because you can play with mods, or you can just go with a guide online that says, this is the best way to be a tank, or this is the best way to stealth, mm -hmm. or stuff like that. Or that this is the best min-max. So, since you don't have companions, and underneath the companion was the weapon for the companion. So mine's called the Artax. But those two things you'll you'll equip after playing the game for like 30 minutes because you'll be done with the first story. And then that's when you get all this. So on your end, have you added upgrades to your weapons and your your character. Have you done that already while I was away for a couple minutes? Uh, I added a couple of mods. That's okay. about it. Okay. For which one? You have three uh, weapons. Excalibur. And a, okay, so, but you haven't done your weapons? Mm, no. Okay, you need it on your weapons. Well, if I'm carrying you, I guess you don't need it. I guess you get the gist of it. So I guess if you don't want to, yeah. you don't have to. So, but there's one thing, one last thing in this upgrade section. So if you're looking at my stream still, you can tell there's you can mm -hmm. tell there's a difference between weapons and the character. So between your weapon and Excalibur, because if I'm in weapon, I have two rows of four mods that I can add. But if I go to my character, on top of the two rows of four, I have extra slots. And then on the right hand side, I have extra slots too. The first topmost. Oh, that's the weapon. Oh, uh, I haven't modded actually the, um, the weapon. I know. Yeah, you just told me. Uh, oh. But look at my Twitch stream for one second. And then mm -hmm. I'm on my character. So I don't have Excalibur, yeah. I have ne Neja. At the top, mm -hmm. you have an extra row that takes two things. Mm -hmm. This first slot is called an Aura slot. This mm -hmm. doesn't cost anything. It doesn't cost anything to put something in here. If you it's match the... Uh, no, it's a mod, but it's mm -hmm. a special mod. It's a mod that applies to your whole team, not just you. So oh, it's okay. called an Aura mod. Um, mm -hmm. And then if you match the polarity... You can actually increase your capacity here. So, like right now, or even if you don't match it, you can increase it. So I have a, a mod that costs 5. I put it in my aura slot. So I went from 30 capacity to 35. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So just letting you know, it's there. And that's what it's used for. But when you look at the mods, you have to make sure you choose an Aura mod. You can't put any old mod on there. It has to be called an Aura mod. It has a, that icon, the same icon. Now, while you're in this menu, you can probably switch to a, a character that you got from Twitch Prime. You don't have to yeah. use Excalibur. Mm -hmm. Your The one that you got from Twitch Prime has been modded to double your capacity. So if you're level 5, it'll actually give you 10 slots. And then when you match, reach max rank 30, instead of giving you 30 capacity for mods, it'll give you 60. You can take any character and upgrade it so it gives you double capacity, but it's a special drop. It's hard to get. Um, so right now, I've after playing 100 hours, I've only gotten one of those, and I used it on my shotgun, I think. Um, mm -hmm. But if you want to, it'll be easier for you to play a character that has extra capacity, like 60 capacity. So if you scroll over your Excalibur and hit X, it'll let you choose one of your other characters. So yeah, you should have I like guess. one or two that you got for free from Twitch. Yeah, Frost uh, I just think or Trey. Did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest using those at the beginning because it'd be easier for you to play. But I have two capacity on it. Yeah, because it's level one or something. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's level zero. Yeah, unranked. Zero. So it gave you it gave you something. Um, if you hold triangle over your newly equipped one, does it show? Uh, I guess it won't show your max capacity. That's okay. I know it does because that's what I had from Twitch. Mm -hmm. I got I got sixty capacity from those. Which one did you choose? Uh, Trinity Prime. Do you have Frost Prime? No, I don't. Damn. Frost Prime is awesome. Trinity Prime is a... It's good, but it's it's for teams. It's not for solo play. Mm -hmm. So you can help me out. So the Trinity Prime, essentially, uh, the point of it is to give everybody mana, everybody energy. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to see what they do, you can hover over your character and hit R2, it says abilities, and I'll show you a screen it's the, where you can scroll over all your different ab abilities and explain what they do. Mm -hmm. If you're looking at my Twitch stream, you can see what I mean. I'm in my abilities menu. So I can scroll over each of these abilities, it'll tell me what they do. Okay. You can do the same thing for Trinity Prime. So yeah, anytime anything says Prime, Prime is the like the best version. So there's a base version, and then there's a better version. So there is a Trinity, which everybody can get. Trinity Prime, you gotta farm for it in a special way. Uh, it costs a little bit more, or you can pay money for it. Mm -hmm. And you have weapons that are prime, characters that are prime, and then prime, usually it gives you like a 5% boost to stats, so it's not that big of a difference. The nice thing about getting stuff from Twitch for free is that they also added special mods already that you don't get, usually get with prime. So it's prime plus extra. So that's why your capacity is 2, even though you're level 0. And then when you reach max rank, your capacity will be 60 instead of 30. So I would suggest using that. So, on my stream, we basically covered everything. You've probably seen this section and went into it. I think you didn't know really what to do with it. It's your mod station. Mm -hmm. You can, you can kind of ignore it because you can access mods from your arsenal. Over here where I'm standing, this is an actual pet. You can get eggs and hatch pets. And okay. It costs money to keep them up. Like, real world, you have to, like, feed them and stuff. So I don't use them. I just use my robots. I have my one standing over here. I know there's a delay in Twitch, so I'm going to stand here for a second. But I have my robot there. 
and then the foundry is the last thing that you really need to understand this is where when you have your blueprint you can build stuff so when you first mm -hmm. open it it'll show you every blueprint you have it's probably easier to hit R1 and move over to ready to build. Ready to build means you have all of the requirements. So you have all the parts necessary to build them so you can scroll through and see what's ready to build. When you build things, a lot of, they all have different times. Some of them take three days to make. Some of them take one minute to make. But if you ever need to build anything, it's in your foundry. Basic. I don't need to explain any more of it. It's really simple. There's one hidden thing here towards the back of the ship next to Arsenal. If you watch my stream, it's called Void Relics. Mm -hmm. That's going to come into play. This is how you get prime stuff. Mm -hmm. So eventually, you'll start getting these relics. You already got one because I finished, I carried you through a mission that you didn't have access to. So you should have one relic. And then each relic has its own loot table. So that there's only six things that can come out of it. And it'll tell you the percentage next to each item. You can upgrade the relics. So you can go from regular to exceptional to flawless to radiant. You have to spend another form of currency. But if, if you hover over each class, it means it ups the chance for... Uh, the drop table. So the really hard stuff to get, like the prime parts that you're trying to get, that's rare. If you upgrade the relic, then you have a better chance of getting the super rare stuff. That's that's everything. That's everything in the game. Um, mm -hmm. The only thing left is to like explain the actual combat and missions and stuff. So... Do you want to launch a mission from your end by going into yeah, navigation sure. and selecting mm -hmm. one of the blue points that you haven't completed? Yeah. When you hover mm -hmm. over a point, it tells you what type of mission it is. There's maybe like seven or eight different ones, but there's four common ones. So when you choose it, on the top left menu where you have the fire team, you should now see an option to cancel or to force me to play it. So if you don't want to wait for me to vote, because right now on my screen I see an option to vote or cancel, you can force mm -hmm. me to play it. So now you did that and it's going to auto launch in 10 seconds. So keep that in mind. Anytime you're public or publicly match made, you might have an option to vote yeah. because. You just finished a mission and immediately someone wants to play another mission because they like you. It'll give you an option. Or if you're waiting, if you got like three people that voted yes and one person just kind of AFK, you have an option to force them to play. So you don't have to keep waiting for the AFK guy to come back. And you got lucky, you chose the, the, the best starter Warframe. I chose uh, Volt, which I don't use much. You chose Excalibur, which is one of the best ones. Okay. If you hold your R1, do you see a menu pop up on the bottom right? Sorry, I have to go to the toilet. Yeah. Uh, okay. So. If you hold oh, you R1. If I hold one? R1. Yeah. Your right bumper. Uh -huh. yeah. On the bottom right hand one. side, do you have a menu that pops up? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that menu, that's your four different alts. Like in mm -hmm. Destiny or Overwatch, you have different mm -hmm. abilities. That's what's going to spend your energy. So <laughs> X, X is your first power. Uh, square is your second power. Circle is your third power. And triangle is your fourth power. And as you go up the scale, it usually costs more energy. So you can usually use your X 
a lot of times, but you usually can, can't use your triangle a lot. So the way to use mm. it, hold your right bumper down and then choose your power. Yeah, okay. And it'll cast it for you. So do you want to try it on this mm -hmm. enemy over here? Was that it? Okay. Yeah. Was that your X? Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I, I don't have yeah, I don't have that character. Okay. So I guess that was it for Yeah. So this mission Oh yeah, so right now we're playing sort of playing a story mission. It's still you're mm -hmm. still in the tutorial. So we can just skip forward and skip past all of this and get to I think we just need to go retrieve something. Yeah, we, we just need. I'm just yeah. rooting for. Yeah, I'm whatever. assuming you don't need to. You don't need to. Do you want to loot? So you're gonna get tons of loot as you play the game anyway. You don't need to actually mm -hmm. physically okay. loot. It's not like Diablo. Mm -hmm. Usually you get all the stuff as you're running along. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to open everything. There's really only one place where you want to do that, and that's uh, later on in the game. So I would say, this is why I was saying you don't have to spend 50 hours like I did. We could just skip through everything. Mm -hmm. We can literally skip through everything. Because you get all this stuff later anyways. Why, why waste time opening everything? Is this it? Oh, we're here. Oh, I'm I'm doing it without you, by the way. I'm I'm just yeah, gonna I'm carry you. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, that's, I'm good. I'm Here, good. It's, I I open this. You can pick it up. It's above you. There you go. Pick this up. Collect segment. Okay, now we can leave. You see that green marker? Green mm -hmm. means green means the exit's open. We can go. Yeah, extraction. Okay. Yep. So let's just go. Oh wait. Are we locked out? That's right here. Green's over there. Oh, because well, the alarm's on. So, I'll cover you if you want to go to... Oh shit, what the fuck? Is this happening on your screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I forgot about that. Okay, come over to where I am. Do you see this panel? Mm -hmm. That's an alarm yeah. console. I'm gonna kill everything. You open that up and do the puzzle. The alarm puzzle. So every once in a while, a door will be locked. We can't get to the exit because mm -hmm. the door's locked right now. If you solved it, the door opens. Yep, the door's open. Now we can go. If you take a look in front of you, you can see where your mm -hmm. body fits into the wall, right? Where the green mm -hmm. marker is? Yeah. That's our ship is on the other side of that. So you'll see the animation when you step over here. You see your yeah. you walking into your, your mm -hmm. little slot there. And then you'll see yeah. your sh that's the bottom of your ship. Mm -hmm. Yep. So the story mission right now is you woke up, uh, people are attacking you and trying to capture you, and you don't know why, and then right mm -hmm. now they're telling you you have something attached on your body that's disrupting your mana. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to collect parts that'll let you take it, like it, let you strip it off your body. Mm -hmm. So you can select the next mission, and I'll just I'll just do everything for you. Walk you straight through this. All right. But I can't select it because I already finished the tutorial, so I don't have the option. Once we have your 
character, your weapons upgraded, I can give you a special mm -hmm. or better mods. I can just transfer them to you. And then you can actually do damage. And actually kill things and one shot things. This is our chance. Bor has been struck as a meat guard. He's vulnerable. Take him out. Oh, it's already a boss fight. On your screen, did it tell you to go to your foundry and make something that'll remove the tracker off your body? Mm, I don't think so. Okay, maybe you already did it. Yeah, I remember doing it with you and Ron. Oh, okay. So we've already done it. So the part that we just got from the previous mission that just unlocked this node for you so you can go beat the boss. That's what it was. So remember, when you first start the match, click in your left thumbstick so you go from walking to permanently running. So that way, if you forget to slide, well, you're, well oh, for nice. the for the mission, yeah, you don't have to hold yeah. it down. It's not like Call of Duty. Yeah. So you just have to click it once, but you have to remember to do it because by default, when you start a mission, you're always walking. Mhm. Mm Let's turn the alarm off. So you can just follow the waypoint, the yellow one, and we're at the boss now. Oh, you're here, okay. I don't see you there. Alright, he's dead. We can go. So he doesn't drop anything? Okay. Um, I mean, you might see it on your screen. I don't see anything drop. Well, but I've already done the tutorial, so... Mm. Man, that I failed that mission three times. All right. Yeah, when I first played it, and right now I went through all of his three phases by one shotting him on each phase, just one one blast from my shotgun <laughs> per phase. That's ridiculously simple. Yeah, imagine that. This took me like forty minutes to do, and we just did it in two minutes. Mm -hmm. Three minutes. It says time over there. Mission time. Three minutes, zero seconds. What I want you to experience is that first real story mission after the tutorial. It was so good. So good. So I think we can get there real fast. 40 minutes versus 3 minutes. Yeah, we can get there real fast. But you gotta choose all the missions. Yeah. Oh wow, so many blue dots suddenly. Okay, um, I have like 10 of them. Yeah, but you probably only have access to maybe two of them. You have to go in line in order mm -hmm. where the line leads you. Venus Junction, okay. Lift. 
Junction is where you face a boss, and the boss is a character that you can unlock. So it's a new character. Each junction has a new character. And when you beat that character, then you can move to the next planet. But usually there's requirements. If you hover over the junction, it'll tell you what to do to unlock that fight. Super cool. And that's where I can't help you. You have to do it solo, I think. I'm pretty sure you have mm -hmm. to do it solo. But let's go ahead and unlock the, all the rest of the blue right mm -hmm. now, because it shouldn't take us more than 20 minutes. If it's taking us two to three minutes of mission. Oh, and then uh, you can, all the free codes you put in, that's all in your inventory now. So I forgot where, but you can change your profile picture now. If you want to stay at the beginning and figure that out, I can rush to the end for you. Mm -hmm. Of defense. Oh, this is going to be a five minute timed one. Oh, we got a random person that joined us, too. I got you, boo. So, if you are next to a, a friendly person, a, a, real play, a real player, you share XP with them. And I'll show you when you get close to me, because right now you're out of range, so you're not getting any of the XP. Yeah. So this is the best way. When you get on defense missions... Mm -hmm. um, it's literally just stand in the same spot and uh, just defend the target. Defend like the like a cryopod or something. Mm -hmm. Everybody's gonna be standing next to each other, and all of their XP are gonna count towards you. So you can go mm -hmm. if you and it'll usually give you an option. Do you want to stay longer and defend it longer? Mm -hmm. If you stay here for 30 minutes, you can get from level 1 to like 10. If you stay mm -hmm. for an hour to, or an hour and a half, you can get from level 1 to 30. So that's why I said within 2 hours, you can level everything up. Your weapons, your character. It's not like Destiny where they force you to, you know, yeah, play the game yeah. for forever. You can literally level everything up in 2 hours. Especially if you choose a defense mission. But the longer you stay, the harder the enemies get. So eventually they're going to yeah. be too hard. And if you decided not to leave, then you have no option to leave until you beat it. So if you mm -hmm. if you got if you get to a point where you can't beat it, then you're fucked. You you mm -hmm. lose all your drops. So if you don't beat a mission, if you don't get to the exit, then that's it. You lose everything. Nothing that you picked mm -hmm. up gets kept. So keep that in mind. Sometimes you don't want to stay longer because you know it's going to be too hard for you. So on the top right of your screen, next to your health, your armor, and your shield, those numbers, there's a three, right? What, three circles. And it says three. Oh. Top right. I'm, I'm going to wait till you... You see it. Yeah. That means you're within range. You're sharing XP. Mm -hmm. You're sharing affinity mm -hmm. with three people. So you mm -hmm. can literally go AFK now. If you want to go eat, if you want to go take a shit, just do it. Because everybody else's XP is feeding into you. All three of us. Mm -hmm. So you can do nothing and everything you own is going to be upgraded and stuff. It is fantastic. You just have to check to see whether you're in range by looking at the top corner. If you're only in range of one other person, it'll say one. If you're within range of two people, it'll say two. So on and so forth. So, if you're trying to upgrade stuff, always make sure you're within range of everybody else. So they can kill everything for you, do all the work for you, and you get every, all the rewards for it. Um, 
If you're not moving, by the way, you also don't pick up any of the drops. So if you want the money that's dropping from the enemies, you want the mods that are dropping from the enemies, you have to mm. literally go pick it up. Until you have mods or companions that can go pick it up for you. Right now you don't. So you have to literally run around the map. But this, all the defense missions are in five wave increments at wave five. Wave 10, wave 15, they always give you an option to leave. So if you want to go AFK, you can go AFK for like four missions, and then on the fifth missions, run around and go collect everything that dropped. They don't disappear. So you can wait until later. So right before you have an option to leave the match, you can go run around, pick it all up. And that way you got all your XP, and then you get all your drops, but you literally only play for like 20 seconds. And from what I've seen, I hardly ever run into AFK people. Maybe once every five days. Everybody who plays the game seems to like it enough there that, that they're actually playing. So... Now I can understand why, because when you unlock new characters, it's just fun to play with all the new alts, new playstyles, try the new weapons. Like, why would you be AFK unless you're actually grinding? Also, your XP is spread differently. If you make a kill, you get full XP. Um, but if you kill with your main weapon, the XP, 50% of it goes to weapon, 50% of it goes to your character. If you kill with... Okay, so here it is. We're at wave 5. That's the reward at the bottom that you're getting. You have an option to leave or to stay. If you hit square, we leave. So let's leave. Leave, yeah. Now we're done with that node. So that blue is gone from your map. Wow, now, if you kill, yeah, if you kill with your uh, power, you know when I told you to hold your right bumper mm -hmm. and hit X. Yeah. If you kill with your power, then all of the XP goes to your character instead of getting shared between your weapon and your character. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to level up your character, use your use your powers more. If you don't care, then just you know, use your weapons and your character however you want. So some missions we can rush through. Anytime it says defense, there's a time limit. Like you have to stay for five minutes or something. Or five waves. So go ahead and select the next one. Hopefully it's something we could just run through. Breeze right past. Okay. I don't think you have to be choosy at this point. Just go down the row. Just select the next one. Yeah, you're, well, I, yeah, I don't see you, but we're in the same fire team. Oh, you chose Cetus. Yeah. Okay. So this That's is the one the, I can do. yeah, no, I think I, I see your name. Um, this is, you should be at a cutscene if you've never loaded this before. This is the first expansion mm -hmm. to the game. This yeah. is going to be end game content. So there, uh, there's this a little tutorial you have to do here. I think maybe one mission. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it's end game. I haven't even gotten into it. It's such end game material, I haven't unlocked it. Okay. So this is after you unlock all of the solar systems, you want to come back here, and there's extra mm -hmm. mods and augments you can add to your character by doing 
missions here on the first okay, expansion. Okay, so how do I leave, leave Silas? Okay. Uh, don't leave yet. If it's the only oh, thing, okay. I think you have to go talk to an NPC. I think that's what I had to do. So essentially, it's just it explains this, what I what I just said. There's mm -hmm. an expansion here that you get to play. You might have to do one bounty. So this is like Destiny, where you load onto a planet and then you have bounties you can do. Mm -hmm. So right now, Warframe is it doesn't give you that option. You choose from a solar planet map and then it loads you directly into a map. But this expansion, mm -hmm. this is where you can actually roam the entire planet. Well, like okay, Destiny. Okay, so it's a city, Silas. Okay. Yeah, but from the city, oh, wow, you, you leave the city, city, just like in Warcraft, you can, you know, you can go explore the planet. Now, I don't have the waypoint, so I don't know where to go. And I lost you. You're not marked on my map. I would say completely ignore the bounties for now, except what you what they require you to do. It might be one that you have to do. Factions. Okay. No, I only have a... I think I, I need to do a bounty. Yeah, because it told you this is the only thing that's available, yeah. right? Yeah, force me. Yeah. If you can do it. I don't have an option to vote right now. Wait, do I? I do. Never mind. I voted. Let's start. Man, I don't see your name. It's really hard to read. I see a marker. You should be somewhere around here. Wait for other players. Oh, you're there. Okay, yeah, you're already there. Yeah. I was waiting outside. I mean, inside the city, I was waiting to find you. Okay. Yeah, I see you. So it's loading. It's awkward. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like it's loading, but it's loading. Oh, there's a lot of slowdown, so yeah. Oh, I need to invite you into my clan. So I gave you a full, like, one hour tutorial. That was maybe, like, one third of the game. There's so much to do. So, so much to see. Uh, I don't see you anymore. What's... I, oh, I loaded. I, I ran in front of you. Yeah. See ya, sucker. You don't have a sparrow, do you? No. I don't See have ya. a skateboard. Thank you. This is their version of uh, Destiny Sparrow. I think I can... Hold on. How do I get off? I... Oh, I don't have it on my equipment. I can go... I think on this expansion, I can go Gundam. You haven't unlocked it, but I can get my wingsuit out. Which is, it looks red. It's hard to control, so I don't like it. But it looks cool as shit, especially your first mission where you unlock it. You're like, holy shit! I'm mobile suit Gundam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's so much content, dude, compared to Destiny. They say just kill everything. I guess we're just uh, committing genocide over here. Yeah. Oh, we got a random person that joined us. Well, anyone can join, or is it... Uh, yeah, because uh, you left it on public. Oh, okay. 
which is nice. Always, I would say always keep it on public. It's so much faster when everybody helps you. Bounty complete, okay. Okay, so we can go back now. We can leave. You see the uh, marker? Go back to the go back to the city. <laughs> this guy left. He's like, "Oh, you completed it without me." Oh yeah, I see the marker on. No, yeah, the yellow marker. The oh, I think on expansion two, that's where I can use my wings instead of my skateboard. Wow, we went this far away from... Jeez. Yep, here's the city. Yeah, uh, return to see that city. Alright, I'm heading back in. It says, wait for you. Should be loading. What weapon do you have? I've never seen that. I've seen it in the market, I've never owned one. What's it called? Uh, it's called Quanta. Okay. I think you have an alt fire on that. So, alt fire is weird in this game. Oh, we don't even have to go back into the city, we're just done. Okay, so we can leave Silas, I guess? Unless you see another marker on your map. Do you see another marker? No, I don't see anything yet. Yeah, let's uh, leave Silas. I don't know if that's... Oh, yeah, it, it made us uh, separate. We're going to have to rejoin each other. Mm -hmm. So, while you're in the mission, if you... Click in on your right thumbstick, that's alt fire. There's only like 10 weapons that have alt fire. I think the one you have is one of those that has an alt fire. I will invite you. I sent you an invite. Okay. So select the next location. If it's a defense again, once you get to the place where we're oh, defending, okay. you can go into I your have menu tons of and change your profile trader, picture. Void figures, quest, event. By pressing. Oh, on. you unlocked everything. On, on the top, top right. Right, R one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, what's your first tab? What is it? What's it labeled as? Uh, event. Go purge. What's your next one? Quest. Quest. Okay. Then Void Let's... Trader. Okay. And then Void Fishers. Void Fishers are where we grind for prime parts. That's like the mid-game stuff. What's after that? Uh, that's it. Oh, okay. You don't have anything else. Okay. All right. Let's go to Eurasia. Man, level three to five. What? <laughs> I'm fighting level like 40 enemies. It's so weird to see level three enemies. Ah, uh, uh, someone got, mm -hmm. got the dock. Yeah, you can change the color of your ship for free. Um, you can change your profile icon. So, depending on what game mode it is, you can just go into your menu while I finish it. If you want the XP, though, keep up with me. Mm -hmm. Mobile defense. Okay, this is defending, but well, there's three different points to defend. 
Mm -hmm. So this is easy. When we get to the defense points, you can go into your menu and look around for your profile picture and change it. But follow me first. So mobile defense, I had to pick that thing up at the beginning. And now, mm -hmm. remember to click in your left thumb stick, set it on run, mm -hmm. and we're just going to run to the first uh, point. So essentially, we activate a computer with that chip I just picked up at the beginning, and then we have to defend the computer while our ally hacks it remotely. Uh -huh. So you can go into your menu if you want now, and I'll just defend you. You get XP. You know, okay. try to change your so profile picture. You? I don't remember. Yeah. You gotta look around. Yeah. I'll try to keep you alive. Oh, grenade! I'm running away. Did you find it? Nope. It's in your options somewhere. If you hit options, it's in there somewhere. This guy's got a pet already. Level one, and he has a pet. That means you should, you should be able to get a pet too. Okay, get out of your menu. We're moving. Okay. Yeah, you only have to defend it for like one minute, one minute or two minutes each location. So get over here, then get back in your menu and just do your housekeeping while you get free XP. Yeah, this game gets a lot more fun once you add mods and then you start using your ults. It's hard to use your ult without mods because you have mods that increase how much mm -hmm. energy you have and how little you have to spend. So once you get those mods, you can start spamming your ults and then it gets really, really fun. And then you can combine it with, you know, other allies mods that join us in mission. Or combine it with weapon stats. It gets really fun. All right, we're moving. All right, yeah. So one other thing to note, you know how I was telling you, there's a mastery rank, which is your account rank. When you get to rank mm -hmm. 14, you've unlocked everything. Rank 30 is more like, you know, to tell people, look how, you know, look, I've done everything in the game. It's hard to get to rank 30 mm -hmm. on your account. But you have weapons and characters that are locked until you get to rank 14. That's the max. I That's what I read. So once you're at rank 10 or 11, that's a, that's like a veteran. That's someone who's done 80%, 90% of the game. I guess it'd be like 90% of the game. And once you see someone who's at level 14, they've done like 98% of the game. The rest after rank 14 is literally just like collecting. Getting new weapons and ranking them up. Trying out new characters that you haven't used before. Alright, that's it. We can leave. Let's get out of here. So if you weren't in your menu and you were playing, really the biggest thing, because you don't do much damage, let me do the damage, and you worried about picking up the rewards off the ground. All the loot. That should be your focus if you're going to actually play right now. Because you need it to upgrade everything. So when the majority of the players are standing at the exit, you'll see on the left-hand side there's a countdown. It's going to finish the game no matter what. 
But if there's three people in the match and one person is at the exit, it's not going to force the other two to leave. But because two out of three of us were here, if the other guy went AFK, it'll still end the match because the majority majority were ready to leave. I would say once we're, we're done with Earth, then we can worry about your mods. And we can start going over your mods and get you geared up so you can play with randoms or play solo if you want to. Because we should be halfway done with Earth by now. Right? I, I would think. No. No? Uh, we still have like... Because we did like... Three, four, five, six. Yeah, out of like 12, right? So we should be halfway done. Yeah, maybe, I guess, yeah. On Earth there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, there's 12. So we've already done half of it. Because the first, like, four or five were tutorial missions. Wow, we got a full fire team. Yeah. Yeah, when you move your ship here, it signifies to everybody you're here. You're not AFK. If you don't move your ship here, and you don't move in the game for 10 seconds, some people just leave because they assume you're AFK. Then you lose your fire team. Click your left thumbstick in. You are running. So this is excavation. It's it's like defense. You get to a location and there a digger comes down from the heavens uh -huh. and then you have to protect it while it digs for resources. And while you're protecting it, it also runs out of power. There's special enemies that carry a carry a power pack. You have to kill them and take the power pack off of them and take it over to the excavator. You just have to get near it. It'll automatically load the power. Like there's two guys with power packs standing in front of me. I think you're next to me. Yeah. Can you pick up this power pack on the ground? Yeah. What do I do with yeah. it? And then run over to the excavator. When you get next to the excavator, it'll automatically load the power. It oh, only okay. takes like a split second. And then on the left hand side, it shows you how many excavators we have going and what the power is. Mm -hmm. So try to keep it near full. If it runs out of power, it stops digging. And essentially, we. We just stop progress and we just waste time until we load more power cells into it. Mm -hmm. So right now, Lotus told you that it found a new location where it wants to dig. If we want to, because we have four people, I can branch off and go over there and start the other one and guard the other one. Because we don't need all four people here. But because we're all new, I mean, the other three are probably level one. I'll stay over here and help you guys. But if we do three, I think we need three excavators, and then we'll be done with the match. If we have competent people, we can go to three different ones and do all three at the same time and be done in one minute. Because all of them will be done at the same time, and we don't have to waste all the time just standing around guarding one. So that's, that's done. Before we go, find a power pack and pick it up before we go to... Oh, we don't even have to do three. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. We can leave. Fuck it, let's leave. We don't need to do any more. Okay. We just want to get Earth done. You know, that's the main goal right now. Mm -hmm. Let's just get all the blue nodes done. We can farm later. Right now we want to unlock the other planets. Wow. 
So all the other missions, it's usually three of them you have to do, not just one. I was so not ready to do just one. Let's go, guys. I think we need two people here to exit. So if you come over here, it should allow us to exit. And the other two can dig if they want to. Nice, you did pick up a power pack. Yep, extracting in 50 seconds. So, we just have to wait 50 seconds and we'll leave. Some missions, like endless missions like this, where it always has more and more and more to do, it doesn't pull the rest of the team. Only the two of us will leave at the end of the countdown. But if it's a... If it's a if it's a finite mission instead of an infinite mission, where it's like, kill the target, and we do it. If we trigger the extract at the end, even if the other person doesn't want to go, it's going to pull them, because there's nothing left for them to do. So, defense is an infinite mission. You can stay as long as you want and keep defending. That type of thing. We're going to leave, and those two are going to let, be left here to do whatever they want to do. Five to go. That took four minutes and 52 seconds. So your character is level seven. Your weapons are level nine and 10. Let's go, let's go. Next mission. I just got a notification that you liked something that I posted on your timeline. And that made me panic, because I was like, did I get hacked? I didn't post anything on your timeline. But it's a notification notification from four weeks ago for your birthday. I just haven't logged oh, yeah. into Facebook proper in four weeks. I've only used Messenger. <laughs> so, I was like, what? Alright, click in your left thumbstick to set run, and then we can go. It's a defense mission. So you've done this one before. Oh yeah, I remember. We gotta do five waves. You have Trinity, right? Is that what you're on right now? No, I'm using... Uh, oh, you Excalibur. went back to Excalibur? Yeah, Excalibur yeah. is good. Uh, I wish you had Trinity, because you could give me energy, and I could... I have a... I have a super that kills everything around me instantly. So if you kept giving me energy, we could just stand here and you could just keep giving me energy. I could just hit one button. We don't have to fight. You just let everything come to us and not move. Just Each of us just hit one button and be over. We could go through this a lot faster. The other guy's a level 8. Mastery level 8. He is a Necros. Necros is uh, number four. Is to I think his number three pulls in all loot and enemies to him, and number four desecrates dead bodies, which means it doubles the drops. So if he does it, it'll be super helpful. I don't know if he's going to do it, but he's going to give us double loot drops. I haven't seen him use it yet, though. That will help you out to get double everything right now. 
They said they're gonna they're gonna um, nerf it though this summer. People are mm -hmm. only using that character to do loot runs, and they're saying that's not it was what it was intended for. So I'm just going to set the ground on fire, so it'll auto-kill anything that runs through it. I have pink fire, because that's the color I chose. Oh yeah. So if you yeah. see that, that's, uh, that's, that's cool, me. Yeah. So, that color of the fire changes depending on what color you choose for your character. You can change that at any time, which is awesome. So if I go change my main color to orange, I'll have orange fire, you know, that type of thing. And I just do that mm -hmm. from the arsenal in my ship. Where I do my upgrades, I can change my looks. I wish you had Trinity. This would go faster. Who's the new guy? New guy is level 5 Volt. God, I wish I'd, kn I'd known to get the uh, Excalibur. You made the right decision. I think Ronald and what? I chose Volt. For our first character, starting character. Actually, I think Ronald chose Mag, I chose Volt, and you chose Excalibur. <laughs> I'm literally just running in the circle behind you, or in front of you. Yeah, Excalibur uh, with the right weapons can essentially just get through 80% of the map. No issues. Then it gets harder. As long as you're modding it. If you don't mod it, then you're playing the game wrong. Because mods are the point of the game. One more to go. I want to take you to a high level, like level 40 enemy defense. Because mm -hmm. you'll get a ton of XP in like 10 minutes. And we should get you closer to level 30 on your character. Which means you can get to add a lot of mods onto it. Cause that's the, that's my goal for you by the end of tonight, to get you to a place where you can solo it if you ever want to keep playing Warframe. Well, it's only 9:30. Yeah. The entire night party. I would love it if you want to play it with me, but you know, if you don't like it, then you know, I want to leave it at a place where if you want to experiment with it, a month mm -hmm. down the road, you can do it. Without relying on me. How thoughtful of you, man. You do <laughs> care. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, at the end when we start modding, I want to see how you want to play and then give you free stuff. So that'd be the last thing we... Well, maybe second to last thing. Because it'd be nice if I give you everything and then we go try out your new build, you know? So you can see how much stronger you are. Because it's amazing. Once you add mods, you feel like a god. Because you can kill everything instantly mm -hmm. instead of having to hit it like 10 times with a sword. It's like one hit, it's mm -hmm. dead.
but it's the name of the game. You need mods. We got an enemy. Oh no, we're done. Let's leave. Unless you want XP, we can stay. The other two are staying. Nah, I'm good. Yeah, I think you, we get a lot more XP at the uh, harder locations. And you can see the person left you a message. He said, GG. You mm -hmm. can chat with your teammates when you hit the L2 in the game. Oh, yeah. You got to get the menu up. So usually you hit option and then L2 because it'll go away. If we're in the middle of a fight, it, you don't want to start uh, accidentally chatting while you're trying to kill something. They did everything so well. The, really, the only two things I dislike about this game, they don't teach you anything. So you got to look everything up or someone has to walk you through it. And the art style. I prefer Destiny's art style. But everything else, they did so much better in this game. Everything's just... Like, how does this game have 40 different characters, all with 4 different unique abilities, and like 500 weapons that you can carry multiples of? You can carry a thousand copies of different weapons and load it all up different ways. And they don't have an issue with vault space. The fuck, Bungie? <laughs> It took them like five years to figure out vault space, and this game's been doing it since beta. No, no limit. Have as many weapons as you want, different variations of the same weapon, all with different loadouts. Doesn't matter. It's not gonna slow your game down. The fuck, Bungie. All right, click in left thumbstick. Oh. I don't remember what this is. so much is. faster than I am. Uh, different uh, characters have different speeds. You have, oh, okay. like, you have uh, one of the faster speeds, though. I have the fastest speed. Mm -hmm. But you have a fast speed. You just have to learn to spam your L1, your left bumper, so you're always sliding or jump sliding. Instead of sprinting. Sprinting is for chumps. Alright, I did that one. Let's move, let's move. Your bread and butter for XP is defense missions. Mm -hmm. So missions like this where it says go to a location and do something, it's faster to just do it and finish the mission. Get out of here. You're not going to get XP. A lot of XP for it. Oh yeah, this is a special mission. So now we're actually defending. So get over here and get some XP while I defend. Get your XP's. <laughs> Everything's dying to my fire. I'm about to run out of energy though. Okay, we can leave. Super easy. You gotta jump up here. So, hmm. look up and jump with your slide. Oh, 
fell off the map. No. Oh, over there. Okay. Yep, go for the green, but it's up top. We're done. I don't think that other guy ever caught up. <laughs> Level one guy. Let's go, guys. Yeah, I'm Let's stuck. Go. I keep dying. Are you actually dying or are you falling off? I'm falling off. Uh, Let me see. I'm coming back yeah. for you. Oh, you're here. Is that you or the other guy? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Okay. Are you here? Okay, let's go. Yeah, don't fight anyone. It's not worth your time. So over here, you can hold left trigger while you jump in the air, and it's going to let you glide to the end, so you don't have to actually run. Mm -hmm. You could just take a shortcut through the air. <laughs> this guy just fell off. Alright, are you watching my screen? I mean, are you watching me in the game? Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to run forward, I'm going to slide, and I'm going to jump, and I'm going to hold left trigger. And oh, now I'm just floating. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's usually when you want to do that. So you can cover long distances without having to zigzag and run on obstacles. Just glide over it. It's like a, you know, in Mario Brothers where you could get over the map and just run to the end. Do the same thing in warfare. And glide over enemies, glide over obstacles, just ignore it all. Just float over them. So it's going to take you a couple days of playing to get used to it. And then remember, oh, I can do it this way. This is much faster. Alright, choose the next map and let's see if we can drag this guy into it. Mm -hmm. well, uh, oh yeah, finally I can change my profile, okay. So basically you need to... Um, I can only do this in the ship now. Oh really? You can't do it from yeah. the mission? Hey! I see a weird face. And I see an anime... It looks like a squirrel girl. Yeah. The anime girl. I think you can change your ship color and stuff from here too. Equipment was it? Yeah, equipment and then landing craft at the bottom. Okay. Where? 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 Go into your menu and go into equipment, where we were looking at inventory okay. before, but at the very oh, yeah. bottom. Yeah, landing craft. Landing craft. Be Customized quiet. landing craft. Okay. See, and oh, then I okay. just, I hit random colors, and it gave me that ugly baby blue and pink, and I was like, awesome, I'm keeping that. So you can hit random colors, so you don't have to repaint everything yourself. You can if you want to. Okay, so while you do that, I'm going to go take a leak. I'll be back.
you must possess an Arcwing and have completed the Arcwing quest to play this mission. Okay, I'm back. I've forgotten I had one well, going. Uh -huh. Well, I the mission says you must possess a Narc Wing and have completed Ooh. the Arc Wing quest to play this mission. Awesome. Uh, so when you go to your left hand side of your ship on Codex. Mm-hmm. For the arc wing, what does it say you have to do when you click on it? Let's see. Oh, the arc wing, Mars Junction. Uh, so I need to do the mission alone. Oh, you have to unlock the junction. Is that what it's saying? Yeah, to unlock the the next uh, node, I need to do the Mars the Mars uh, Junction. Do you have the Mars Junction available, or is yeah, there a node yeah. blocking it? It is? Yeah, yeah. And you've, yeah. you filled all the requirements? No. Uh, looks like it. They say, um, are you ready? Yes, no. So. Yeah, so can you load it? But I'll do it myself, it's a single player. Um, okay. I think you won't be ready, because you don't have any good mods equipped because mm -hmm. you didn't you didn't go into your mods did you just now you don't add no, anything new no. yeah i think you're gonna be fucked but go ahead and try it you'll see what a junction looks like complete the junction path and all goes below to gain complete quest once away, complete the Mercury Junction and visit the Codex in your orbiter. Complete Suisse on Mercury. Oh, okay. I thought you said you finished everything required to go to Mars. Yeah, but all right, leave Junction then. Yeah, when you hover over the Junction and start clicking on it, it tells you with a check mark next to it. Complete suicide mm. on Mercury, oh, and okay, it has a check yeah. mark if you've done it. You can't, okay, you can't uh, face the boss yeah, unless you finish it. Yeah. Mm. Don't you have other blue nodes on Earth you need to complete? Uh, they are locked behind the, the next uh, quest. Yeah. Okay, what's the next quest? Well, uh... I need to get the arc wing, which means I need to do the Mars Junction, and to do the Mars Junction, I need to complete the... That doesn't make event. sense. You're, you're doing something wrong, because there should be a way for you to progress somewhere. Well, R1, quest, next objective, Venus Junction. 
Yeah, Venus is the other way. Can you do the Venus Junction, or is there something in the way? Uh, I need to apply four mods to a single Warframe or weapon, mm -hmm. and I need to upgrade any mod to rank two. Yeah, so it's oh, telling you, you you can't go to Mars yet, you have to do Venus first. Mm -hmm. And you can do that right now by doing your mods. So okay, go to your arsenal. Yeah. yeah, at the back of your ship, go to your arsenal. And then hit triangle over your Excalibur. Mm -hmm. And then apply four mods. You... Yeah, we're not in the same fire team, but I'm assuming you can add four of the capacity two mods. I think you're high enough level to do that. I'm inviting you to my fire team so I can scroll over your name and see what you have. Okay, hold on. Yeah, most of the planets have two different directions you can go. Some have three. So you can have... It's connected to two different... Or three different planets. So how so, capacity? Five out of eight. So you can spend five more. So if you have eight, you should be able to apply four level two mods. That That's a total of eight. Four times two. Do you have enough level 2 mods? Do you need yeah, some? I could give yeah. some to you. Okay. I have some. I have some. Tinity, what's that? Okay. So if you're looking I for... Some. I can tell you what is the most... Uh, most important mods. So... Or you can ask me about it. Whichever way you All want right. to do it. All mods. Vitality okay. is important. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I have fight vitality, I have flow. Flow is important. What else do you have? Intensify. That's important. Continuity. Yep, that's important. Those four. Okay, I have these you, four. Yeah. Yeah, um, have, there uh, are different uh, versions of it. So, like, intensify. You said you have intensify? Yeah. Right? There's a flawed version of it. The screen yeah. looks cracked on it. So, mm -hmm. don't, don't spend the upgrade points on it, because you get a better version, like a perfect version of Intensify. Mm -hmm. And then later on, you uh, might get a Prime version, like you have a Prime version of your, mm -hmm. you know, your character. There's a Prime version of mods. Mm -hmm. So, if you're going to upgrade something, don't upgrade that one. And then, if you spent all of your points... All of your capacity already, go over to your weapon and then go add a mod and rank that to level two. Okay, how how do so, you upgrade a mod? Okay, so from your arsenal, hover over your weapon and then mm -hmm. hit triangle to upgrade. It says upgrade when you're hovering over it. Mm -hmm. And then after you added a mod that you want to keep. Then at the bottom, you have extra menu options. Bottom right, it says Actions, Mods, Remove, Back. Yeah. Hit Square for Mods. And that'll take you to all the mods that you can upgrade that you already have loaded onto that weapon. So then select one, whichever one you want to do. And you can ask me about it, see if it's worth it. And then we can upgrade okay. it from there. Okay, I have Rifle Aptitude, mm -hmm. Ammo Drum, uh -huh. Bane of Corpus, uh -huh. Stormbringer, uh -huh. Bane of Greenear, and You have all of, these, all of these equipped? Equipped, yeah. Um, My Quinta is 22 capacity, so... The worst one are the Banes, so ignore those. Uh, ammo serration drum is 10, 10 or serration. Damage. Yeah, do ammo drum or serration. Well, you said ammo, ammo drum. drum. A, yeah, ammo drum. Yeah, plus five percent ammo max. Yeah, you run out of ammo a lot at the beginning. Well, let's do do serration. Okay, 
So uh, just to action, I guess. And upgrade uh, it. Just select it with X, and then uh, it, it lights up the menu up at top. So select Fusion. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, so if I press mods. Uh huh. Okay. Once you've so equipped I it. So I go with serration. Okay, I have fusion. So yeah. Click on fusion. Yeah. And then press R1. R2. Okay. Rank two. And then it tells you on the right hand side how much it's gonna cost. Yeah. So, so you should hopefully have enough. It, yeah, yeah, it costs real money, right then. No, 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 because you have Endo, which is a different currency that we get from the stars, remember? That's okay, not real looks, money. It looks, yeah, it looks similar to... Uh... You can see your real money up top, your 200. That icon's different mm -hmm. than the cost for your fusion, right? Okay, 200. It's slightly fusion, different. Okay. Yeah, for your okay. fusion, it's like a circle with blue and gold. Yeah, yeah. Real uh -huh. money is like a rectangle, like a locker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you're ready, apply okay. it. All right, it's done. Okay, so now you should have unlocked the uh, Venus Junction. I believe so. Let me go and back. And because you've modded it, hopefully you are ready for it. Oh, before we go, go back to your mm -hmm. arsenal. Yeah. Hover over your character and hit R2 for abilities. Uh, what are your abilities? R2. We hover okay, over. Okay, I have slash dash. Mm -hmm. I have radio blind. Radio blind. That's the one you want to use. That will blind mm -hmm. any enemy, even bosses, which means you can hit them freely without worrying about them hitting back. Mm -hmm. That's the cheese move for his Kappa. That's what makes him super powerful. What's the other two abilities? Okay. Radial Javelin. Uh-huh. And I have Exalted Blade. Oh, yeah. Exalted Blade is the other one where you can make it super powerful and one-hit enemies. But for the boss locked, fight... Though. Yeah, but for the boss fight, use Radio Blind before you go go to hit him. That'll make mm -hmm. him blind and unable to hit you back. And then you can go to town on him. And that's how you choose right. the boss with Excalibur. Let's see if it works. Venus Junction. As soon as you hit start, the boss is active. He doesn't wait for you to step into the arena. So okay. run at him. And go damage him. With a gun or the sword? Whatever. Excalibur's strength is a sword, but you need to mod it and you have a good sword. So right now I think you have the best mods on your weapon, so use your weapon. But make sure you use your power. So I think it's hold R1 and square, I think, for radio blind, mm -hmm. yeah. not, not X. Make sure you yeah. do that before you start shooting him. You're going to run out of energy, too, so use it at crucial points, probably at mm -hmm. the start of the fight, and then after you reload, do it again. Don't do it before you reload. Oof. You might fail How a couple heal? times. How there is heal? no heal. You, you get health as drops from other enemies, and there are no enemies. It's 1v1. You just gotta spam okay. him. It doesn't matter on this one if you fail. You can try again. There are mastery tests to get you to the next mastery level, your account level. Those, when you mm -hmm. fail, it locks you out for a full day. But bosses, you can fail as many times as you want. Every time you fail, it reloads uh, energy and health. 
Are you still fighting him? Yeah, I'm still fighting him. Oh my god. He's like, I'm halfway used... there. He's almost dead. That's good. I use a cheese with frost that I got from the uh, Twitch Prime. Mm -hmm. I can kill any of the uh, bosses in like 20 seconds because of the super cheese. Oh, that's what I was hope okay. Yeah, that's what I was hoping you had him. So you should have a cool animation showing you unlocking a warp junction mm -hmm. to the next planet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you might have more after you get back to your ship. Oops. I'm in another match right now, but I'm done too. So I'm headed to the exit. Is everybody else coming? Okay, right. Venus is unlocked. So you don't have any more blue left on Earth other than the Mars Junction? That's the only thing no, I have left I on have Earth? I have three blues. I have three blues. But... One uh, the the next one requires me to do the Ar the Arcwing quest. What are, what about the other two blues? Uh, they are locked behind it. Oh okay. So okay. now I need to do the Arcwing quest, which means I need to do complete quest once awake, complete suicide on Mercury. We can get you to Mercury. Do you have prime? You should have a prime weapon if you go back to your arsenal and hit X to switch weapons. Yeah, let me check. Your prime weapon is going to have 60 capacity slots. That's going to get you a lot further because you're going to be able to lo load a lot more. Yeah, I have Victor Prime. Into it. Yeah. Which one? Victor Prime. I don't think I have Unranked. that. Unranked. It's a sniper rifle, I think. Oh. Sniper rifles are hard to use. Alright, keep your current weapon. What's your current one? Oh, it's, it's a bow, right? No, it's not a bow. It's some kind of laser bow. Yeah, some weird ass. I've never used that one. Shit, I closed. Oh no! Just like a prime? AK Bolto. Okay, well, I'm done with my level. I closed the website. I didn't know which reward was the higher tier reward. Womp womp. So that weapon you're using now, it's classified as a rifle? Uh, I guess. How do you check that? When you go to your arsenal and you try to add a mod to it, it'll tell you what type mm -hmm. of mods apply to it. Like when I guess you it's scroll... A rifle. Yeah, because yeah. I, yeah, I, I, yeah, it's a rifle. I added rifle on it. So. Right, yeah. Every mod at the bottom should say rifle on every single mod okay do you want me to give you mods now uh, yes yeah what if spare mods I have fair. yeah let's see what I have 
What do I have to spare? What good ones do I have to spare? I don't use rifles. That's what I used initially, and then I found the heck. There's really nothing good for... I have rifle aptitude. That was okay. You have that one already. Oh, here we are. Okay, so... Let's see. Are you in your mods right now? No, I'm not. Let's go to yeah. your mods so we can see what you need. What, what are you saying? Yeah, it looks like uh, it's gonna take some time to finish Earth because I need to do a bunch of stuff on Mercury and. Yeah, I forgot about that. Because I didn't get my arc wing until I was like 20 okay. hours in, but you're almost yeah. there. Venus, I think you can almost. skip straight to the yeah. next. Because you can skip on Venus. Don't you have a straight shot to Mercury Junction? I think so. Like, yeah, like I do think three I need things. to do like two or three. Yeah. yeah, yeah. so you can get to Arcwing in you know, okay. 15 minutes. Well, mod, what do you need? Okay, do you have Split Chamber? Split Chamber. Choo, 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 choo. It's a gold one. It's a gold one. No, I don't. Okay, do you you said you have rupture? It's a have, copper uh, one. Copper. Vitality, pressure, and no, I don't have rupture. Okay, let me see if I have rupture. I do. I guess I need to write this down so I know what to transfer to you. Uh, 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 create. Rupture. Okay, do you have a blue called Cryo Rounds? Cryo Rounds. I do not. Uh, you, do you have a blue serration? Yeah, I do. Okay, do you have a blue speed trigger? Speed trigger? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have a copper piercing hit? Piercing hit. Uh, no. Okay, do you have a copper continuous misery? Continuous misery. Mm, no. Okay, do you have a copper fast hands? Mm, nope. Okay. And you said you have rifle aptitude? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's it for that one. Do you have a secondary weapon underneath your main one? Yeah, I have a small gun, I think. What is it called? Lato. Lato. Oh, Lato. Okay. Have you added mods to that? Mm, nope, I haven't. Okay. So... Give me one second. That's a pistol, right? Yeah, it's a pistol. Okay. I gotta label these. I might just give you everything that I have duplicate. Okay. Pistol. Do you have slip magazine? It's a copper one. Yeah, I do. Okay. Do you have perpetual agony? I do. Do you have trick mag? Nope. Oh, oh, oh. Do you have Hornet Strike? Yeah. Okay, Hornet Strike's the most important one. Do you have uh, Barrel Diffusion? It's a gold one. Nope. No. So gold, gold is like the highest you can get for a standard drop. You have mm -hmm. Prime above that, and then you have like two other things, uh, three other things above that. But for the base, you have copper is the lowest one, blue is the middle, gold is the top. Uh, do you have deep freeze? Mm, nope. Okay. Okay. Now, what about your sword? Or what sword do you have? Scanner. Do you have a sword? 
Yeah. So when you scroll over it, does it just say melee? Uh, I guess. Okay. Do you have pressure point? That's the most important one. Yeah, do we? Yeah. You do. Okay. I don't need to write that down. Do you have reach? Uh, yeah. Second most important one. So as I'm calling it. Go no, ahead no, I don't. Ha I don't have reach. I don't have okay. reach. Okay, everything I'm telling you, equip it if you mm -hmm. have it. Mhm. Mm if you have the mods, just go ahead and throw it yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, do you have heavy trauma? It's a gold one. I, I do. I do. Yeah. Nice. Okay, equip that. Uh, do you have rending strike? No. Okay. Do you have Fury? Yeah. Blue one. Okay, equip that. Uh, the last two, you don't have to equip, but it's I found them nice and useful. Do you have North Wind? Blue one. I do, yeah. 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 That slows enemies down, so it, if they're swinging at you, it, it makes it twice as slow. Um, Fever Strike. Do you have that one? No. No. Okay. Uh, 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 do we do... Oh, but we didn't check your character. We only checked your weapons. So, over your character. I think we mm. already talked about it, though. You have Vitality, right? Yeah, I have Vitality, Intensify, Flow, mm -hmm. and Continuity Equipped. Oh, but you have Broken Flow. Are any of those flawed when you scroll over it? Yeah, or... yeah all of them are flawed. All of them are flawed? Okay, so you need a copy yeah. of all of them. Uh, do you have Streamline? I do not. Do you have Steel Fiber? No. Okay. So, you can mess in your menu. I just have to now figure out how to trade with you so I can give you free stuff that you should probably equip from now on. Because we're done with Earth. It's a good time to mod everything correctly instead of throwing random ones on. I, just, I don't know how to trade. I've, I've only had other people give me stuff. I've never actually initiated a trade. So I gotta Google uh, this. This is new for me. So freeloading, eh? <laughs> I did it with one person. That's the only time I've done it. I went to pay him mm -hmm. and I found mm -hmm. out, you know, the 200 platinum that you have? Because it was yeah. free money to start the game, you cannot give it away because people in the beginning created multiple accounts and just transferred all the money to one main account. Mm -hmm. So now they say if it's free money you start with, it, you cannot use that for trade or purchase. Oh, okay. So I didn't know that. I went into a trade chat with someone and then he, he eventually just said, you know what, here, just take everything for free. So he was super nice. So he gave me like six different mods. Continue with ad blocker. Okay, how to unlock trading. Oh no. You need to hit, hit mastery rank two. Master rank two? Uh huh. Okay. How, uh, you're not even in my fire team. How close are you? Are you halfway to Master Rank 2? How do you check Master Rank again? If you if you move your icon over your character on the top left, right underneath your name, there's a white bar, that white and gray bar that fills yeah, up. Show profile. But okay, you I'm halfway. Sh you're halfway? Okay, we can get yeah. you all the way. Um, join my... Thing. Let me send you an invite. Invite. We're gonna go do like a defense mission that just runs forever. Mm -hmm. I say forever, but I say let's go 10 rounds, you know, a few minutes. Yeah. Let me Are we find... gonna do a level 40? Probably. Yeah. yeah. If it'll match us. If it doesn't match us, mm -hmm. 
Let's cancel. It didn't match us. Voting on mission. Uh, go ahead and vote yes and see if it matches us with somebody. On the top left, it, it gives you yes or no. Yeah. Okay, so it didn't match us. Oh, oh, it oh. kicked you out. What's that? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Invite. Let's see. Defense. Maybe. Yeah, Voting. Just, yeah. That's okay. I'll just force us to start. It didn't match us, but it's a low level, and there are uh, there are at least sixteen people playing this map right now in our region. So hopefully, mm -hmm. someone will join us. Usually, matchmaking, it's only like the first three minutes of the game, and then it stops matchmaking. Like right now, while we're on the load screen, it matches with someone. So I didn't choose a level forty. I chose level fifteen. Mm -hmm. But still, it's better XP than fighting level 2 enemies. Our position has been compromised. Let's go. Alright, look, we got a full squad now. We can wait until everybody loads if you want to. I'm still waiting for the fourth guy. Nope, he touched it. We're starting. Um, essentially just hide. There is an option to activate, this is a control panel, if you hit that to activate a laser, it kills everything outside of us, outside of this region, so don't mm -hmm. activate it please, because if we're not in there with you, it's going to kill us too, mm -hmm. and you're going to be the only one alive. So you have an option to revive people, you just have to just mm -hmm. stand over them and hold square. Yeah, so that's that's a frost globe. Someone put a globe around the uh, around the uh, thing that we need to protect. Mm -hmm. That means none of the shots that people take can hit you inside there. Only thing that can damage mm -hmm. you is if they come inside and then shoot you, or if they throw a grenade and the blast damage hits you. So as long as the globe is there, I would say stay inside of it so you don't die. And just shoot from inside to out. You can shoot from inside to out, but you can't shoot from outside to in. Even allies mm -hmm. can't shoot inside from the outside to in. It blocks every shot, even friendly shots. So I would say just stay inside of this globe and just shoot outwards. And... Yeah, our last guy, is he freeloading? Is he just AFK? I think he's AFK. <laughs> but essentially, alternate between your, pri <coughs> your primary and your secondary. So they both get ranked up. Right now, what we're trying to do is rank everything up. We want to rank your secondary up, your primary up. We want to rank your melee up. So just keep switching between them, and just shoot everything with it. How do you switch weapon? Uh, same as Destiny, hit, hit triangle once. Okay. Okay, I see. And then, melee is just circle. And, you, and they mm -hmm. patched the game, uh, seven weeks ago. It, you don't have to hit triangle multiple times like you do in Destiny. If you hit mm -hmm. circle, it automatically pulls out your melee. As soon as you pull mm -hmm. the trigger, it automatically switch to a gun. So it's super nice. Destiny should do it too. Yeah, so you don't have to cycle between weapons. It'll just auto switch between your your sword and your guns. Ooh, there's no protection. Where's the frost? Oh, okay, I'll okay. come. I'll come revive you. Oh, you're up top. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're reviving. The more people that hold revive over your body, the faster you get revived. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just uh, stay in the middle because it should say affinity XP sharing is three out of yeah. three on the top yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So yep. you're getting all of our XP. You get 
XP, you get more XP if you actually get the landing kill, the final blow on a kill. So, shoot your guns, make sure you switch between your main and your secondary. But the shared XP gets shared between everything that you have equipped. So hopefully they don't mind going to wave 10 or wave 15. And then you should be getting messages on your screen every time you rank up a weapon or something. Mm -hmm. Right? You're getting that? Every once every in a while. Again, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're trying to hit uh, rank 30 on all your weapons and your character in the next, I don't know, 20 minutes, 15 minutes. I don't remember how long it really takes when you're that low of a level. Wake up. And now, everybody knows that you can't con uh, contribute much, so if you want to go AFK and unpack or something, feel free. I will, I will, I will, I will. I'm going you to... You will. I hear anime playing in guys. the background. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not me actually. <laughs> wave 4, so we're almost at wave 5. So, we skipped towards like the mid, mid game, almost end game content. This is the area. Um, you're gonna get rewards, the relics that drop prime parts. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if I want to explain that, but that's essentially what I need to farm to get to Xur. Xur requires payment where you have to give up prime parts. Everything that you get as drops, he forces you to give up to get his currency. But thankfully I've gotten duplicates, so I've used that so, so far. And our version of Xur is only here for two days. Oh, shit. He visits every two weeks, and it's always unique weapons like Zer oh where are you? I'll come pick you up. Yeah, so Zer um... usually brings like the same gloves for warlocks like three weeks in a row. Um, mm -hmm. our version of the Zer, he uh, he brings different things every two weeks. Eventually mm -hmm. it cycles Let's, let's stay. Hit triangle. So, eventually it cycles, but it takes almost like a full year for it to cycle. So, if you miss it, sometimes you gotta wait a long time for it to come back. And those mods are the next step up from the gold. From gold, it goes to white. And that's the stuff you get from our version of Zur. So, you don't want to miss it. And I just found out about it. I just le learned about it. So that's why I was farming for five hours today, trying to get enough stuff. Because he has some essential stuff, and I don't want to miss it. Because that's the stuff I need. The white mods are what I need to get to endgame. Right now I'm mid-tier. And I can't survive endgame. It's too hard, most of the stuff. So get all that from playing this map, this type of map. So usually when we're here, you see everybody who's playing this is like level 7 or higher. Mm -hmm. Whenever you get to level 40 enemies, it's mostly people who are level 13 or higher. So, remember I said level 14, that's when you unlocked everything. So it's almost everybody that's doing NK is farming the high level enemies. Oh man, but there's so much more. You just wait, if you play this, there's so much new content that just keeps happening, the more you play. Like, I, I was gonna do Index today, which is a way to do endgame content where you gamble your in-game currency. 
So you say, mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you 30,000 credits, and I bet you that within one or two minutes I can collect more coins against the highest AI levels. And then you get matched with random people. Uh, that's it, you gamble your money. If you win, you get two times or three times more cash back. So if you're strapped for cash, instead of like in Destiny where you just farm and farm and farm, you can, instead of farming, you can actually go gamble. Can you do damage to these guys? You can, right? They're yeah, not that hard. Yeah, 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 I can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm contributing. Yeah? As much as I can. I'm gonna put these guys up on spikes so you can shoot at them. You see them? Mm -hmm. They're on a spike. That's me. So when I get in trouble and there's too many guys around me, I could just spike everybody up. So they're just impaled and they can't move for 12 seconds. It's my crowd control. Wow, we're almost at level 10. It's nice when we have powerful guys playing with us. We, we zip through all the enemies so quickly. So here's the problem. The Frost guy, the guy playing Frost, he put two globes down. Mm -hmm. And they're separated. So I'm shooting from inside one globe, but I'm hitting the outer side of the other globe, so my bullets get stopped. Okay, one globe blew up. So there's a health on the globe. You can only mm -hmm. take so much uh, damage before the globe goes away. Make sure you run around the map before the end of wave 10. So you can pick up all the drops. One of the guys is killing people over at the beginning of the map, the front of the map. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be drops over here. I'm, I'm over here, if you want to follow me. So run over to me and come collect all the gear over there in that doorway that I'm coming out of. Okay. Yeah. So collect everything around the map, because it's about to end. I don't know if they're going to play another wave. If they don't, then you don't pick up all the gear. You lose it. If you don't, whatever you don't pick up, you lose. Yeah, all right, I picked up. And hopefully, you're getting some mods too. You guys look so cool with your armor stuff. <laughs> Can I upgrade the visual appearance of my Excalibur or do I need to switch to another classes? You can. Um, usually cosmetics cost real money. Some of them come mm -hmm. as drops but it's really rare. It's like certain quests or alerts. The best way is to buy it with the free in-game currency from Xur. So he's selling stuff this week, but you're not going to have access to him, because that's endgame stuff. But yeah, you can get it. You, like, hardly anything you have to pay real money for, so... Uh, if they're leaving, let's leave. We can't do this with just us. So, did you rank up a lot? Did you go up, like, two, three ranks? Only uh, one rank? Yeah. Well, two ranks actually. Uh, I gained 15,000 okay. XP. So. I don't know how far up that puts you on your. Like. Uh, uh, mastery rank, or whatever it's called, the uh, profile right. rank. Are you still around the halfway point? 
host left. Uh, oh, shit. Back. Yeah, I left. <laughs> uh, I'm like uh, two third. Wow. Okay. From one, one of those? Okay. Well, it was 50%, so I basically gained 16%. Yeah. So, but you are, yeah, you're at 75% done then, right? Uh, two third, which is like 66. Two -third. Oh, 60%? Okay. Um, do you want to just breeze through Venus right now? And start yeah, doing that better. again? Mm -hmm. I think you get more XP that way, but we can gain XP and do Venus at the same time. So select that first Venus mission, and select the shortest path to Mercury, right? Yeah. 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 That sucks, they gotta wait to rank 2. But if we did that... We could get get you to rank two real fast instead of doing the story. Much, I mean, the, doing the uh, planetary nodes. If we had ignored Earth and just done that, we would have already had you to rank two and ranked you up to level thirty by now on everything. Mm -hmm. So that's the fastest way. If you're ever wondering how do I get to the next mastery rank because I'm locked out, just find the defense mission. So this is an enemy elimination mission. Just find all the enemies that are marked in red on your waypoint and just kill them as quickly as possible. Just kill them all. You can help because they're low level. I went the wrong way. Where is this guy? There he is. Let's just follow the red. Oh, is there a guy in here? Red, yep. Still alive? Okay. Oh my god, is this? Another. Saw a guy in here. Guy over here. Okay, we gotta go all the way over here. Okay, I need your help to open the door. So if you load into a mission with more than yourself, sometimes it blocks you and forces everybody to catch up. So that one guy doesn't get too far ahead of everybody else. The other door, the, the other side. Not that one. <laughs> yeah, the, on the door, yep. Okay. Remember to use your abilities, because the more you use it, the faster you rank up your character. So oh, really? use your yeah your your right bumper and your X. Mm -hmm. Use that. Uh, on these doorways where I'm stopped, if you look above, there's a sentry right that's mm -hmm. scanning. If you run mm -hmm. in front of it and it turns red, it'll put an electric field in front of the door. That'll hurt you. It doesn't do much damage if you're higher level. But on other maps, mm -hmm. it puts a barrier that strips all of your energy, which really sucks because you cannot use any energy after you run through it. And it's just sudden mm -hmm. and you're not expecting it. It's really, really sucks. So always look above doors. Make sure you're not running into something like that. So even if you have to stop to shoot at it, go ahead and stop because it's worth your time not getting... Uh, yeah, and your ship pushed in. Okay. 
Okay. We're almost there. If you're on the left hand side, it says we've killed 69 out of 75. Mm -hmm. There's more enemies than that, but that's the requirement. We just have to kill that many. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now we can just run to the end. Uh, it's inside. Gotta go back inside. I just triggered that alarm. I don't know if that uh, fucked you over. No, I'm right behind you. Okay. Yeah, when you get to higher levels, usually you just ignore these ones. On the other map, it's worse, where it strips you of your power. That's much worse than just getting a little bit of damage. Level anything up? Mm, mm, yeah, max sword. Okay. Yeah, try to keep up with me. I'll kill everything, but you need to be within my range to get the XP for it. But at this point, it's you get so little XP, it's faster to. I mean, it's better to just run through the map, even if you can't keep up. Mm -hmm. Let's just unlock. Unlock the quests and unlock the things. So next one. What do you think? Would it be better that we, if we do just a defense mission, rank forty-ish something? Nah, let's no. Let's just party. unlock everything, because we need to get you yeah. to Arcwing anyway. If if that level one of your weapons up, then at least we're getting some XP. I th yeah. I would say use this time where I'm running through everything to learn how to move properly and keep mm -hmm. up with me because you are almost the same speed as me so there's no reason that you need to be that far behind you're just not used to the movement yet like at the end you were taking the stairs to run up to the exit you could have just jumped straight up you can jump four stories you know or two stories or whatever uh -huh. You have to look straight up and then do your crouch jump. So you just have to get used to doing the left bumper and jump over and over and over. Cause that took me, yeah, that took me a while to get used to. I think it took me like four weeks. It took me two days to understand and get the rhythm of it, but then it took me four weeks to just learn the map. Remember to push your left stick in. Mm -hmm. So you're running. This is a spy mission, so this is harder. This is one that actually takes time. We actually have to like sneak in and solve puzzles. So you can try a couple of them. I'll try some others. Okay, let's just go. Plenty to do. Um, do you want to run over to B? And it's kind of self-explanatory when you get to it. You just have to figure out how to sneak in. You don't have to sneak either, but it makes it a bit harder if you don't sneak. Because they'll start destroying data if they catch you. This is also bad because my controller keeps disconnecting. I don't know if it's a battery problem, but my controller is, is fucked up right now. So try experiencing spy mission at B for yourself. I'll try to do A. On spy missions, usually you only have to be successful retrieving one out of three. If you can retrieve three out of three, you get a special reward. 
So if we can, let's try not to fuck it up. And I hope I don't fuck it up for you. Alright, I got A done. So we're stealing stuff out of vaults. Um, and it's unidentified until we get to the ship. When we get to the ship, it'll identify it for us. So if we get all three, usually the third one is a mod that you can only get from spy missions. So that's why we want to be successful. That's really hard to solo it if you've never done it. I still fuck it up. So I'm hoping I don't fuck it up right now. All of the vaults have alternate paths once you get inside the first door. So you don't have to follow the most obvious path. If you look around, you can break vents and go through the vents. But you just have to look around to make sure you're not going to get caught. You're not going to land on the laser, that type of thing. Oh, shit. I've never passed at this one. I've never been successful in this one. Well, Kim, I'm going to fuck this up for you. I've never succeeded this one. So I can go that way. Is there... There's no safe card there. Okay, I think I know what to do here. Do I have to? Ah, oh, shit. I don't know. Can't go that way. Oh, you did it! Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I figured it out. Okay. I'm about to get the third one. Oh, shit. I have my hands off the controller. I swear there was a scanner here. Maybe not. So on these missions, they got a lot tougher on like the third planet. Alright, we got everything. We're good. We can go to exit now. They got a lot tougher. So in your foundry, you can make uh, ciphers that auto completes all the, uh, puzz uh, the mm -hmm. locks for you. Yeah. So whenever you fuck up and get caught, it's like you got 30 seconds now to get to the vault and unlock everything. And usually 30 seconds is not enough because there'll be three of those uh, locks in your way when you get towards the harder missions. So whenever you have three in your way, if you have a cipher, you can just walk up to the vault and hit triangle. It'll auto solve it. There we go. I got a new mod. What did you get? Uh, I got a Volcano Edge. Yeah, that's what I got. So everybody gets the same thing, I guess. That's new. I've never gotten that before. Yeah. So even 100 hours in, I'm still getting new stuff. The spy missions are just so hard later on. I usually just never complete them um, with all three. I have 97 hours played right now. If you go to your profile, you can see stats. 97 hours. Oh, you didn't change the color of your ship? No, I did. Oh, you did? The blue? Oh. There's different patterns. You might have a free pattern from Twitch. I think that's mm -hmm. where I got this pattern. It's the same ship, it's just a different pattern. I'll have to check it. I'm gonna 
Oh, I guess I can't skip this animation, it's too late. You can skip this opening animation if you hit right trigger quickly. Okay, so this is Diggs. Whoops. I'm fucking up my jump here. Fuck it, I'm going up the stairs. So this will be free XP if you stand next to me. We gotta protect the mine digger thing. I'm already here. Mm -hmm. Excavator, that's what they call it. And this is the one where you have to just kill the guys with the power packs and then take the power pack mm -hmm. over. I think it'll make us do it three times on this one. So we're on a new planet. Maybe not. We'll see. Each one is a minute and a half. I should just put flames on the ground. Step in the fire, boys. Do you think you can handle this one on your own? Mm. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to move to the next one in case we need <laughs> to do two of them. Because it's right over here. You only have 17 seconds. You can see the health of the excavator on the left hand side. You're on A. Mm. Blue is shield, red is health. So it does have shields still. Shield recharges, health doesn't. We need another power cell for the excavator. Oh, we're good. We don't even have... Yeah, let's leave. Oh, we're good already? We're good. You still only have to do one. Man. I miss those days where you could just do one. Oh, I did not know there was a gap there. <laughs> I just fell to my death. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> you can jump the gap. Just uh, jump across with your crouch jump and then hold... Mm -hmm. L2, the bullet jump, bullet glide. You could just glide across the whole thing. That's what everybody does. Unless you're a chump. If you can't make it, there's a catwalk on the right hand side that you can run across. We are not going to protect shit. We're leaving. We're going to unlock Mercury. Alright, I'm at the end. Where? Follow the green. The green side here. Well, the, the icon disappeared, so I have no idea. I'm following your name, though. Really? Green disappeared? Oh, yeah, it does sometimes. Yeah. If it thinks you're, you're playing, because it has two extractors out, it thinks we're going to continue to play, so it took the end away from us. Oh, that only took us 3 minutes 58 seconds. About 4 minutes. We are blazing through this. We need to get you to rank 2, though. I need to get you those mods before we call it a night. You're like 75% there. Let's see. Yeah, 75%. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. 
thought you could change your ships. Yep, you can. I think okay. you can build one of the ships and you can buy the other two. Oh, yeah. So one of them you can build freely from drops, and the other two you need to like actually use the platinum. But you can get free platinum by selling selling stuff, doing trade chat. Uh, oh shit! No, did no one no one picked it up. We gotta go back. We gotta go pick up the uh, thing at the beginning of the map. Yep, and then. Again, <laughs> neither of us picked it up. We just ran straight over. I'm glad you did it. Because <laughs> the uh, other guy didn't do it either. Just insert it. There you go. These are shorter. This is just one minute per site. So this will be even faster. Other oh, guys to level one too. Uh oh, no one's protecting the No one's protecting the console. They're just beating the shit out of it. Shields are gone. We only have uh, seven seconds, so we're done. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm moving to the next one. Follow me. Remember, slide, jump, slide, jump. Forward momentum. Don't lose it. Nice, yeah. That's it. That's exactly what you need to do. Uh, I'm gonna light the ground on fire. I was I was sliding and then jumping like I was doing the slide and then jump. Oh, you're sliding all the way? No. Yeah. Hit R1 and jump immediately. Yeah. Yep. Same thing when you want to jump really high, look up mm -hmm. and do okay. the same thing. It makes sense, yeah. Because I, was, uh, I don't know. Yeah. No. It, it took me. It took me. A, a couple hours to figure that one out too. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, and I have no one telling me. Slide, that. so. Yeah. I thought, okay. Just keep okay, sliding. We can go. Do the slide jump. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're going. Fire everywhere! Ah, stuck. Yeah, some door ledges make you stuck, which is annoying. A lot of people complain, like, if you design the game to be played this way, why do you put ledges on doorways? So one of my abilities, I throw a boomerang and it has like a 30% chance to generate energy and a 100% chance to generate health orbs that heals me. So the red circle things, circular blobs on the ground, 
those uh -huh. are health. So if you need to heal up your red bar, that's what you need to pick up. Uh -huh. The blue circular things, that's the energy. That's what you need to cast your spells and your ults. Uh, we're leaving now. Oh. That's weird. How did I activate? What did you do? I didn't. Uh, I um, activated one of my uh, alt. Uh huh. You know? But I didn't push any of the button required for it to use it. You sure? Yeah. Hmm. That's weird. So how close are we to Mercury? Uh, next one is the the, the junction. Okay. So when you hover over it, it'll tell you what you haven't done yet to unlock yeah. it. Let's see what it says. I guess I could take a look at my map. I have it unlocked. Let's go to Mercury. Oops. No. Venus, Mercury Junction. Complete 10 waves of defense at Tessa. Rescue hostage. Have we done fossil? No, we haven't. Why did you cancel your vote? I didn't do fossa. Someone chose it. Yeah, well, you need it to unlock Mercury. Oh, oh okay. good. It pulled you in. Okay. Mm. I was like, uh oh. I thought you weren't gonna. You were, I thought I was gonna kick you from the fire team. So you're the one who who did it? No, somebody else did. The other guy. Yeah. But I was looking at the requirements, and it said, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a boss we need to kill. I've done this boss like three times, and I don't think I still understand how to beat him. Everybody else beats it for me. So, I don't know how well this is going to go. If I'm the highest level, and I don't know how to do it. Okay, we got one other person that joined us. He's level four. So he's done this before. Like rank master four? Uh -huh. Yeah, master rank four. Because you need to do this mission as master rank one or two. So he's done this before. And we can't start it until everybody's here. So everybody needs to come to the boss now. Yep. So touch the boss and the... If all four of us are here, it'll start. There we go. He's gonna smash the ground, so don't stand next to him. It'll knock you over. I think we need to shoot his feet, and then we can shoot him in the head after he falls over. It's like the walker in Destiny. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, I'm just one-shotting him. Alright, that was easy. Alright, let's leave. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I shot his foot, it was a one shot and he'd go down. <laughs> I didn't think I could do it, so I, I would shoot him in the leg and I would hit reload. And I missed my chance to shoot him in the head. Because <laughs> I was in the middle of a reload animation. Jesus Christ, that was quick. That's faster than when I played it with randoms. It took us like three minutes. Where's the last guy? We're waiting for the last guy. Where is he? He's just doing his own thing. He's not gonna come to the exit. He's like probably breaking boxes and trying to loot. Wait, no, he's here. Toxic to me. Who's... Oh, it's this fourth guy, the random, the real random guy. Well, we're gonna pull him out. 
Either way, three, two, one, get out of here. It's not an infinite mission, so it's gonna pull him out too. So, on I got this... a shotgun mod. Okay, did you get a blueprint on your left hand side? In... Rhino? So. Credits? Yeah, I got the Rhino. Which one? Chassis. Okay. So you need Neuroptics, which is the head, Chassis, which is the body, Systems, which is like the electrical internal components, and then you need mm -hmm. the actual blueprint. So it'll say Rhino Blueprint. So if you get all four, you can make a new character called Rhino. And a lot of people like Rhino. They, I think they say, they make they say like that's like the number two thing, a number one thing. Rescue a hostage a at Lanyon Venus. Do you have it unlocked? Let's go. No. Do we need to do Tessera? Someone's trying yeah. to vote for. It. So let's yeah, vote yes. We need to do Tessera. Do we need to do ten waves? Is that what it is? Yeah, ten waves. Yeah. Okay. So this guy's trying to unlock Mercury as well, so he really is a dude. Mm -hmm. So we can follow these guys. But yeah, you need to get three internal components, the body, the head, the electrical, and mm -hmm. then you need the actual blueprint for it to put everything together. So all four components and you can make a new character. And the hardest thing to find is systems. Systems is like, it looks like a backbone the internal electrical component. Mm -hmm. If you ever see systems as a drop, and you have a choice between that and anything else, always pick up systems. Because mm -hmm. that has the lowest chance to drop. So it's harder to find it. Alright, so we're gonna go 10 waves of this, huh? Killing all the ads, I'm trying to make energy balls and health balls. Anybody else has an ability to generate energy, I would appreciate it. Remember to use your use your uh, spells, your alts. Oh. I hope this ship brings a really hard enemy. I have a planet that's locked away because I need a really hard enemy to spawn and they come off of these ships. And though they did not spawn, I think it's too high of a level for it to spawn. On Venus. Oh, why am I not using my fire? Let's light the whole world on fire. Okay, so my blade is now one-shotting everything. Okay. Is it your power or you're just your blade? Uh, I think it's my uh, power. Because I'm okay. losing energy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Exalted Blade is super OP until mid-game, so if you can level mm -hmm. that up and mod everything so you can... Basically, you want your melee to be stronger than your guns on Excalibur. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what his power is meant to be used for, so if you can do that... And your 4, the one that shoots energy beams from your blade, that one can one-shot bosses. Like I was doing to that boss just now, but you can do it with your sword. Energy waves that Wait, come off I can your sword. shoot. Really? Yeah, it's like oh. uh, in uh, Destiny. You could 
what was it the arc mm -hmm. one could shoot arc mm -hmm. waves or whatever yeah mm -hmm. it's the same thing Excalibur has that ability with swords so there is so I was telling you the tier list for mods you have the copper at the bottom then above that is the blue above above that is gold right Mm -hmm. Remember that? And the above that is Prime, which is white. There's two more tiers above that. Above that is Umbral, which they just added to the game last year. And then they mm -hmm. added a new update yesterday, or two days ago. No, yesterday. That adds a new one above that. But they're not really just mods. They're uh, different tiers of characters, because you have regular ones, like Excalibur, but then you have Prime version of Excalibur with slightly higher stats. Now Excalibur has an Umbral build. It's the only character so far that has an Umbral that has way higher stats. So, okay. your Excalibur is going to take you far, but I would say don't... Later on you have an option to mod it and make it even stronger, so it has the 60 capacity slots and uh -huh. all the other stuff. I would say don't do it, because instead of doing it, you can try to get Umbral Excalibur if it's not vaulted. Mm -hmm. They do have vaults. It's like Disney. Some things just get vaulted. Um, but they unvault it. Um, it. It's in a cycle. So I don't know the cycle right now. I know the next time they open and close the vault is July, beginning of July, July 2nd or something. So, I've been trying to get all of the available Prime characters before then. Because when they rotate out the Prime, everything that's available now is going to go away. And it's going to get bolted for like two or three years. You can't get it, like, unless you buy it mm -hmm. off of someone. But the good news is when they open and close the vault, there's going to be whole new characters, so I'm going to try to get all of the current primes, and then on July I have a whole new set, maybe two or three new prime characters I can get. Wave 5. Gotta wait for this ship to come in. Okay, let's do five more waves and we'll be done. Extraction is ready. Battle. Unless you can handle more of the enemy. Keep fighting. Another opportunity to extract will appear soon. Man, it's too bad you didn't, you didn't get to claim Frost, though. I love Frost. Frost was my main for like 60 hours, so I started building new characters. It got me through 60 hours of content. But this, the one I'm playing right now, Neja, oh, mm -hmm. that's so good. Because Frost doesn't have uh, crowd control. Crowd control mm -hmm. meaning like killing or disabling you know, hundreds of guys at once. Frost doesn't have it. Even Excalibur doesn't really have it. Um, you can use your four, number four ability to kill things in a straight line. I think that's it. You can't do like radio around you, area of effect. Mm -hmm. um, but Neja. Nesha has the ones where she can impale everybody in like 60 meters around her and she can light the ground on fire to keep enemies away and she has an ability uh, that makes her invulnerable so I'm invulnerable I have 1500 damage I can take before I start taking actual damage mm -hmm. and on top of all that I have a boomerang I can throw that gives me 
30% chance at making more energy and 100% chance at dropping health. So, it's hard for me to die. I have invulnerability and I can generate infinite health as long as I have energy. If I start running out of energy, I can try to make more energy. 30% chance of making energy. This is so good. And this was a character that nobody used up until this year. Um, because her abilities were weaker and she didn't have some of her powers. And because no one played oh. her, um, the developers went and buffed her up this year. And now she's on the class tier, she's an A plus class. Mm -hmm. So you can look up guys and people tell you what the classes characters are in. So Rhino and Excalibur are A class. So you you've made a good decision. Mm -hmm. um, Frost is an A class. I chose Volt as my starter, and Volt I think is an A class as well. Um, Ronald chose Mag. Mag is a B class, so it's not that good. I mean, it's good, but you gotta really, really mod it. So anytime it's like under an A class, that means you have to put a lot of mods into it, or you, it's only useful for specific situations. Anything that's A or higher, A, A plus, or S class, that you can use in any situation, any and every situation. So, Neja, which is the one I'm using, it is an A+. Mm -hmm. um, any S classes, usually within a year, they get uh, nerfed. Nerf. Yeah, so right now there are no S classes. Nova mm -hmm. used to be an S class, you don't know. There's 40 things you gotta learn. So sometimes you run into characters and you don't know what the hell they're doing, because they have weird mm -hmm. abilities mm -hmm. with weird effects. You'll eventually learn, but I don't even know all of them. Yeah. I only know the like, Twilight Sword is always uh, the classic, the cat uh, that I go. You know oh, what yeah. to do. Yeah. Alright, wave 9. Make sure you run around the map, go up top, collect everything right yeah. now. Because we're about yeah, to be fine, done. Yeah. At level 10, let's just extract, because that's all you need to do. We don't want to waste time. I mean, this is nice. It's giving you XP, though. Uh -huh. Should be giving you a ton of XP. So all three of us are around you. Hmm, I'm not, even though I'm, uh, I'm using energy, I'm not running out of it. Seems like I'm always getting new. Yeah, I'm generating a shit ton of blue orbs all around the map. Oh. Anytime I see it, it should be dropping for you too. So, I have blue orbs to spare. You might not, yeah. you might have picked all of them up, but I'm generating it. I would yeah, say I'm making like I guess two why... orbs every 30 seconds. Yeah, I, I see a lot of all blue bubble, whatever. Yeah. That's why I'm not running out of my exalted blade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep using it. You get a it's lot of XP. Kill. Yeah. Who yeah. one shot everybody? Oh, okay, so I'm I'm throwing uh, blades. Nice, energy waves. Okay. Yeah, and those, you can... If you add that with Radio Blind, you can one-shot bosses. Blind the boss so they can't hit you back, and then you just... If you get the right mods, you can one-shot them. Mm. That might be it. I don't see any more ads left. Speed around the map. Make sure you're not just running, you're doing your slide thing so you can speed around real quick. Collect 
checked everything before the matchups. Oh wow, yeah, I gained a lot of XP. I ranked up everything. Right. Did you just go up one rank or two ranks? Uh, I'm ranked 30. Uh, I ranked up two ranks nice. for my character. I'm I'm ranked 17 on all my weapons. Exalted Blade is rank 19. Plus 23,000 bonus XP. Oh yeah, no wonder. Yeah, bonus bonus XP, XP. I forgot how they explain it, but a lot of the bonus XP is from everybody else's kills. Rescue a hostage on nine year. Uh, okay, start so... start it up and see if this guy will follow us. Yeah. Oh, you just forced him. <laughs> you didn't let him vote. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's okay. Oh yeah, your character is lower than your weapons. Mm hmm You need to use more of your, uh, your ults. So hopefully you're around 85% to rank 2. Right now, we didn't check. Oh, I can check it out, yeah. Yeah. We can wait till we're done with this. I'm like 90%. Nice. Could have just done 10 more minutes of defense and we'd be done with uh, yeah. mastery rank. Oh, this is like a spy mission, except you were rescuing a hostage. Anytime we rescue a hostage, it's an AI. Um, mm -hmm. We don't have to actually protect them. They teleport to the person furthest ahead, who, person closest to the exit. Usually, sometimes it gets it gets uh, confused between different players, but usually your teammates need help to open the door. Yeah, we opened it. Are you guys are right? you, you okay. catch up. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, wow. I that was a double jump in mid-air, nice. Across the whole map. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this guy triggered all of the fucking... Okay. Buddy, you just triggered everything. So it's like a spy mission. We don't actually have to go through the front doors. Yeah. This guy's gonna go through the front doors. We can actually sneak in. But if the alarms go off, then... We get fucked. Oh shit, I don't want to fall down there. Uh, we have 1 minute 18 seconds to open all of these doors. There's only two, but the hostage is behind one of the two. Oh, my controller disconnected. Okay, I got him. He's on my side. Okay. Okay, we can leave now. Just go for the green. Did I fuck it up? Did I go the wrong way? I think... Did I go the wrong way? Oh. I'm super confused right now. Which way are we going? Well, that guy knows where to go. Oh, what the fuck? The door was closed and wouldn't open for me, and now it's open. I was too far ahead. Through here, yep. Through here. Nice, you're ahead of me. Am I? Yeah, not Are for you long. You went, me? you ran the wrong way. This way, through the vent up here. Yeah. Yeah, for me, the door was glitched closed and I couldn't get through, so I was trying to figure out how to get through and then finally open. Because you were on the other side, and I was like, how the fuck? So you'll see that every once in a while. The game will glitch. But usually it's not permanent. Ooh, I got a Vapor Spectre blueprint. Did you get that too? Yeah. 
so you can make clones of yourself. I would say don't waste it now at rank one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gotta just make really weak copies of yourself. Okay, it looks like I'll have to do the junction now. Is that everything? Yeah, I can. I should be able to do it now. Hopefully, I'll be able to. Do we defeat five it. Eximus enemies? Uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm good. I can do it now. All right, go and do it. I'm gonna go take the beat. Alright, me too. Huh. I killed him with my exalted blade. Hello?
Matt, are you here? Matt. How's it going here? Did you beat him? Yeah, I killed him in two seconds with my exalted blade. Nice. <laughs> I was like, fuck it, and then I, yeah, I killed him instantly. So yeah. we have two quests we need to do. Well, to one to of them we need, we need to we need to unlock the first okay. on Mercury. So let's do that. Uh, but we're not in the same fire team. Uh, invite. There you are. Okay. So let's do once a week. So tomorrow... Uh, tomorrow in the morning I'm gonna be... Probably gonna go out. Mm -hmm. uh, but then in the afternoon or evening, I'm literally just gonna farm for currency for Xur before he leaves. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have time to help you level tomorrow, I mean, to mm -hmm. do your missions, but you can join me and just get free shit for endgame. Do you yeah, know what I mean? I While I'm leveling? Yeah. yeah, if you want to join me. But I'm probably okay, going to yeah, yeah. farm for like six hours tomorrow. Clear active quest. How do I do that? I don't understand. Uh, um. Are you going to your quests at the top? Okay, there we go. Okay. You should be able to just click on your quest at the top, and then it'll take you directly to the node that you need to be on, if it's unlocked. So anytime you're doing a quest, instead of trying to find the location on the map, you can just go up top, go oh, yeah. over to your quest tab, also, and um, click on it. I'm also, uh, I can do the rank master too, thingy. Ooh, we should probably have done that first. Because mm, okay. you're not getting That's any different. XP right now. Every X, okay. all the you're at the your XP cap essentially. Mm -hmm. So you need to do okay. your test so let's to get direct to. Let's leave, then. Yeah, we can leave. Oh, I think this uh, this is where you get your first pet. Mm, maybe, maybe not. I, I don't know. Says so something about bio weapons. I think that's where you unlock yeah. your pet dog. Uh, so okay, for your so test, do, do you want to practice it first, so you know what you're that's getting into? Rank up. Don't don't rank up yet. Go to Earth on your navigation. Oh, you have qualified for the mastery rank right? once per right. day. Right. You, we don't want to fuck this up. Okay. So either YouTube it, I mean the easiest way would be to YouTube it, or you can okay, go okay. do a practice test. They give you a practice test, which is the mm -hmm. exact same thing, but if you fail it doesn't count against you. 
So if we go to worth that. Earth. Okay. Strata relay. And then choose any of the servers. So busy or calm. It's like a it's like the tower in Destiny, it can only hold a max mm -hmm. number of people. If you choose busy, you usually want to do that when you're trying to trade with someone. Because mm -hmm. you see more people trading shit, and you have more people to sell to. But otherwise, choose calm, so it doesn't have low, long load times. Okay, I'm there. Okay, once you're in, this is the hub. This is literally like the tower. Mm -hmm. um, just move forward through the bay doors, go through the blue force field barrier, go left on the force field barrier. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter on this one, on Earth. Just keep going through the next set of bay doors, mm -hmm. and, and go straight past the statue. Go to, go straight. I think I just saw you. Oh, really? Okay. We're on the same oh, one? Of course. Oh, no. Okay. I went straight. I went past the statue into the next set of bay doors at the back. I don't see you coming through, so I don't think... Oh, wait, you're here. Hey, hey, turn left. Uh -huh. Hey! So come this way. That's funny. We're not even in the same fire team. So stand here and hit the elevator ascend. It's an air elevator. Mm -hmm. And we come this way, and then over here. This is mastery. Does it say you're doing mastery rank yeah. two? Okay, yeah. Okay, so select that, and then choose. Oh practice. Jesus! Did it? Yeah. Did it give you a practice option? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I can do the qualify there too, right? So I can yeah. Do it right so away. once you practice it, you can change mm -hmm. to actual thing. Mm -hmm. So it says kill three enemies with your secondary. So this is where you get fucked if you don't have mods. But all the tests are designed to be super easy. Mm -hmm. Some of the ads will spawn and hide from you. So you might need to run around the outside. They might not come to you. Okay. So if you don't see anybody. And that's all time. You can see the timer on your left hand side. I think you just have to do three waves and that's it. So if you find out you have a shit secondary weapon, it's a good thing you went to practice mode first. Because you can go and switch it out before you take your actual test. Oh, mine pretty much instant kill them. Yeah. Me too. I'm done. Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. Okay, I'm done, I think. One more. Okay. Yeah, I'm it's done. three waves. Different number of enemies. Yeah, if you fail this, that's uh, when you get locked out. And if you don't do it, you forfeit all XP. That's why. Anytime it's okay. available, go do it. So if you're done, now go take your real test. Hi, Sensei. <laughs> <laughs> we have all 30 tests available for you here to practice. Mm -hmm. I think it only gets hard once you get to level like 16, 17. That actually gets kind of hard. Until then, it's a joke. I'm wondering if you're going to appear here when you're done. I'm going to watch. You might put you in a different server. Mm -hmm. I can hear you furiously clicking. Yeah. 
hunt you. These can make you an even stronger hunter. Oh, I've got an Exilus adapter. That's where I get it. Waiting, I'm watching. Make me proud. Island one. Got it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's see. I don't see you. One loadout start, 1000 daily standing limit. Okay. 50 void tray storage plus one base mod capacity. What's the loadout? Oh, yeah, it's, um, yeah, equipment. Yeah. So you can have different combos, depending mm -hmm. on what enemy mm -hmm. you're going to face. In the end, when you get endgame, just so you don't have to keep yeah. moving mods around, you can save your loadouts. I still don't see you. Well, I just reappeared at the beginning of the... Where we spawn. Oh, really? You don't spawn in the room? Yeah. No. Okay, I was going to show you the room. I can join you. Uh, are you here? I'm running. You can right click and fast travel. Oh, right and click? Oh. Yep. Yeah. I'm sorry, options and then fast travel. Okay. Fast travel, and we were at Cephalon Samaris. Okay, I'm here. Oh, that was fast. I think you're in a different instance, because I don't see you. Yeah, I don't see you either. Okay. So, I'm going to invite you. And then you can we can yeah. leave Strata Relay. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna break up the yeah. fire team that we just made. Yeah. Yeah, I don't well, are think you we the can... fire team leader? Okay. I, I assume so. Oh, but it didn't break us up. I guess it did. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try to figure out how to do trading and invite you to the clan. Uh, while we do yeah let's get to Arcwing and then we can call it a night we gotta set up the trade too so while you're doing their mission I'll figure out the trade <laughs> I sent you an invite Do you want to do that now? Uh, I guess. Unless you want to, to do the quest. Though. Oh shit. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Clan management. Invite. Is it Vikim or Vikim? Vikim? You pronounce it Vikim? I yeah, sent you I like an it. invite. Okay. Um, Did you get it? Manage that. Did you see a notification anywhere? No. Uh, no. In your spaceship, right click options and go to communications. It's your inbox. Okay. Clan inbox. Okinawa map. Clan invite. Okay. Can you accept it? Yeah. Hey. You are now in the second largest clan on PlayStation. Hmm. Uh, 
In order to get into your clan, you have to craft a key. I think you do it in the market. Go to the market on the right hand side. Uh -huh. Do you have clan? What happens when you type in clan? Uh, let me try that. Clan. Or is it dojo? Maybe it's called dojo. A lion emblem, clan uh -huh. emblem, detonite, field drone, mutagen mass, it's all. That's not it. Okay. I forget how. Maybe it's already in your foundry. When you there read the message, did it say, it, did it have an attachment? No. I don't remember. Well, I don't have the blueprint because I already joined. Forge your dojo key. Uh, let me Google it. Oh, uh, is it on the map? Let's see. Clan key wiki. Joining a clan, the blueprint will automatically be added to your inventory. Okay, just go to your foundry. Yeah. It's automatically I'm, I'm, in I'm, your inventory. Cool. Yeah, I'm adding tons of uh, mod for my exalted blade. Mm -hmm. Instead of adding tons of mods, it might be more beneficial to add three and then mod it, like rank it up, like the most, the strongest ones, like pressure point. Yeah. Rank that up to rank three or four. Yeah, so if you craft rank your... Do... What's max that? rank. Yeah, I'm going to uh, max it out, I guess. What Pressure is? Point. But it's a flawed, though. Oh, don't do it then. Yeah. Yeah, I would say don't mess with your mods now, dude. We're about to trade, and I'm about to give you better mods. Yeah. Don't worry about your okay. mods. Go, go to your foundry. Do that first, because the faster you start it, because it's a 12 hour timer. Okay. You don't want to wait right, an hour and then start it. Foundry, foundry, oh, clan key, yeah. Yeah. Unlocks access to 12 hour. Do you, do you have all the components? Uh, I do, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and build it. 12 hours. Once you do that, so, so if you tomorrow, go to the... 11 a.m. <laughs> yeah, you'll have access to it. Um, we don't have to wait for that to do the trade. Go to your navigation, your map, mm -hmm. your solar system, mm -hmm. and then see the whole solar system by, you know, backing it one out. Yeah, yeah. Bottom left, it says Dojo. Dojo, okay. Yep, so when you have your key, you can click on, if you hover over the main, the center, it'll say uh, Space Shark Incorporated. Mm-hmm. Okay. You then can enter tomorrow right. after 11. Let's do the quest and then. Okay, and I'm gonna figure out how to trade in Warframe. I think I can do it from two different locations, but I've never done it before. I've never started it, so. How to initiate trade Warframe. How to trade on Warframe. Basics. Yes. Bad mic. Thank you. He is just blabbering on. This is not a useful guide.
That's a spy mission. Go get a vault. Oh, over there. Okay. Wait, I don't see you either. Oh, yeah. So this guy is going to the dojo. Maru's Bazaar, yep. Okay, so there is a place we can go that's not a dojo where we can trade. My controller keeps disconnecting. It's my PlayStation overheating. What's going on? You went to A? Okay, I'll go to B. Yeah. Yeah, see if we can do it uh, clean. Because uh, I think we'll both get something new. Because I never do spy missions clean. I always fail. I only do like one properly out of three. So I haven't gotten all the drops for it. I'd be super happy if I can get something new today. Another item new. I'm gonna fuck this up though. I swear I'm gonna fuck this up. Yeah, I got one. Nice. I'm at B, you can head to C. You set the alarms. Someone set the alarms off. Let's go on the offensive. Hack security. Okay, that's on. Uh oh, uh oh, what's it shooting at? Oh shit. Oh. I'm heading to the exit. Okay, I was super confused. Man, this is so much easier. Usually there are the wardens and stuff that are patrolling. So that's why I fail. There's nothing here. It's just like straight to the <laughs> straight to the vault. <laughs> this is super easy. Man, just wait till you get to two plants from here. Everything's so much harder. Uh. Okay, so this is a mission where you find out there are infested enemies. It's not your pet. You don't get your pet yet. Hello, I'm here. Also, if you do your slide jump next to or through uh, these crates, they bust them open. 
so you don't have to open them manually. You don't have to hit them. It's up to you. Figure it out. Yeah, usually here there's enemies waiting to trigger things. I guess it's because we're so low level. There's nothing guarding anything. That's so weird. No guards. No lasers, no guards. It's crazy. I've never beat this map before. This spy map. Oh, maybe I have. Oh, never mind. I have once. One time. It's usually so hard. That's the exit. I think we gotta go all the way down, right? Over this thing? Go all the way down. We can go over. Yeah, there's a little monorail. Okay, there we go. You gotta open it. That's so weird. No guards. That's awesome. We're gonna get all three. I hope we get a new mod. I'm missing mods from spy missions. Who let the dogs out? What is that drop? Did you found the? Hey, go back. Did you pick this up already? No. The star here? You see it on the ground? Oh, I yeah. can star. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Always look for markers on your map. Cause even if it's behind you, it'll light it up. Uh, we gotta deactivate the alarm. I'll keep enemies away from you. Even those get weird. Um, later on, when you get to hard difficulty, on the rotating, uh, rotating locks, every time you activate one, it'll start <coughs> rotating the other way. So it really fucks you up. All right, let's see the loot table. Nope, I didn't get anything new. Womp womp. I was hoping for something new. But you now need to do suicide. Unless you want to do the training now? Do you want to upgrade everything now? Yeah, we can. Yeah, Let's go. Well. Maru's Bazaar. Where is Maru? On Mars. Maru's so we'll Bazaar. On Mars? Yeah. Okay. I don't think I have it unlocked, right? No, but I'm pulling you in. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I was taking you to endgame stuff. It's the first thing we did tonight. Because I had it unlocked. It didn't matter if you didn't. I just pulled you in. Okay. So when you say level 30, that's master rank level 30? Or it's uh, just character level 30? For what? Uh, I don't know. For leveling up, I guess. For leveling up, it's uh. Leveling up is level 30 on your character or your weapons. Uh -huh. Right? Okay. It's, it's not the. So. Your, your mastery rank is your account. So your account, you're probably never gonna hit 30 unless you really wanna grind the game. The furthest you'll probably get is like 14, 15. Are you here with me? Uh, yeah. Do you see me? I, I don't see you. Though. We're in the same fire team, I think. I'm I'm next to the tree. 
And so, okay, why everybody's trading? Okay. So now I gotta figure out how the fuck I trade. Maybe I need to talk to her first. Oh, nope, wrong person. That's not him. I clicked on the wrong person. Okay. I'm trying to talk to the NPC. Okay. By selecting the trade option above. Did you figure it out? No, no, there was a text uh, that was explaining. Players can set themselves available for a trade openly by selecting the trade option above the emote wheel when in the oh, relay. Oh, emote. Okay. Weird. Okay. I've never... Okay. So if you hit down on your mm -hmm. uh, D-pad, mm -hmm. then you can... Yeah. That's your emote. Okay, so let's set up shop. Okay, so let me look at these stuff. Oh, fuck it. I'll just give you every thing I have free. Every. Oh, but do I need to interact with you or what? Yeah, once I set everything up. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. You but can are... only accept two trays per day so let me be selective about what i give to you so oh wow i can give you pl things i've already ranked up mm -hmm. i don't want oh, to okay, no, uh... but i could i could dude i could i could power level you like crazy right now I could give you max rank mm -hmm. mods and stuff, but I only have one of them, and I want to keep it for myself so I can carry you. If I give it to you, I can't carry you anymore, so I'm not going to mm -hmm. do that. Okay, so I'll give you one continuity. So I'm saving one for Ronald. Yeah, this this works. I have one for you, one for Ronald. This is great. Okay. Flow. Oh, I don't have spare flow. Too bad. Womp womp. Uh, let's see. Fortitude. No. Jesus, I have so many. Diamond skin. Nope. Fast deflection. I'll give this to you anyway. I don't remember if you said you have it. I didn't write down your character mods that you needed. Because it sounded like you needed an unbroken one of everything. So that's what I'll try to do. Redirection. Steel fiber. Streamline stretch. You need vitality. Um, can you look at? Oh, can you look at your mod on your current Warframe? Through here. Um, equipment, I guess. Maybe. Arsenal. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, look at the, your mods. Mm -hmm. Since we can only do two today, let's make sure we give okay. you everything you need right now. Uh, for your Warframe mods, you should be able to choose mods and then Warframe only. Warframe? Yeah, uh, if, if you tab over. You mean Excalibur, right? No, in your equipment. You go equipment, and then is there mods as one of the choices? Uh, equipment, mods, yeah. Or, yeah, mods. And then you can tab between left and right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. first page is everything. Warframe. Second page is Warframe. Warframe, okay. Do you have continuity that's not uh, flawed? Like a perfect continuity? No. One that's not no. cracked? Okay. No. Do you have fast deflection? Yeah, I do. You do have a, a perfect one. It's flawed. No, it's oh, flawed. 
Tell me, uh, yeah, tell me if you have the perfect version, not the flawed version. Mm -hmm. okay. Redirection. Redirection flawed, nope. Steel fiber. Oh, I do. I, I, I have one. Yeah, I have one. I have one. Okay. Steel fiber. Steel fiber? Uh, no. Stretch. No. Vitality. Yes. Okay. You have a perfect version of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Okay. So let's move over two more over to primary. Okay. Okay. Ooh, but you're using rifles right now, right? Uh-huh. I wonder if I can filter by rifle. Let me see if I can filter by rifle. No, it won't let me filter by rifle. Euclid's Archicon, Robotic Beast, Ribbon, all. Okay, so I... Oh, wait, never mind. What the fuck am I doing? We wrote this down. Okay, good. Rifle. Uh, but you're using melee more. Let's tab over to melee. Or we don't need to. Uh -huh. Fuck it, we don't need to. Because we already wrote down the most important ones we need. Uh, you, you don't have to check anymore. I know what you need. Okay. So I wrote it down. So. Oh. I said so, but if you could do me a favor, because uh -huh. I don't think we clarify between flawed and perfect mods. Yeah. If uh -huh. you tab over to melee, do you have pressure point that is perfect? Because that's key for Excalibur. Yep. Uh, yep. You have it. Okay. Uh -huh. Good. Okay, you can back out. I'm about to be done with this. Let me make a note of what I need to give Ronald. So... So if he joins us tomorrow... I know what I gave you. And I can make the same copy for him. Giving this to K. K for Kim. And rending strike and fever strike. Let's give you fever strike first. Oh, wait, no, not that one. Let's do rending strike. Not here. Oh, there it is. Landing strike. Hello. We'll save it. Someone's saying hello on my stream. That says zero people are watching, so I don't know where that's coming from. So I'll give you fever strike. My name is Jojo. Hello, Jojo. I have a person named Jojo that's typing to me. Alright, I'm putting it up for offer. Do this one. Uh -huh. Ooh, it says I have something attached. Ah, oh, fuck it, I don't care. Okay. Uh, accept items. So I got my hand raised, okay. Want to trade later today? Uh, Jojo, we can trade tomorrow. You can add me on PlayStation. And then, uh, we can trade tomorrow. I'm gonna be logging out within the hour. Weird. Okay, so everything I offered is not showing up. What? So I gotta do this? I gotta manually add it again. Okay, so, Kim, you have to trade something back to me. 
I it have really oh, good mods. I can't just give you free free stuff. It has to be a one on one trade. So give me uh -huh. spare uh -huh. ones or junk things you don't need. So you should have spare stuff by now. Character. Can you do flawed mode, I guess? Yeah, give me flawed, flawed stuff. Mod. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just as long as you're giving me something. How many do I need to give you, though? Six, I think. It's it's a one for one. So I'm giving you six items, you give me six things back. Oh, no, maybe okay. not. Maybe just put one up and see if it'll take it. Just choose one flawed item. Okay. Okay, so continuity, fast deflection. Yeah, Jojo, yeah, I wouldn't mind training with you. Just uh, hit me up tomorrow. Steel fiber. Stretch. Okay. Primary secondary oh, melee. I didn't say fraud on this one. What the heck? Did you read it incorrectly? Reach and fever right, strike. So. That's okay, we can try it anyway. Or choose something None else that's flawed. What the heck? Okay. I am ready. Oh shit, hub tax, 10%. Trade tax, 24,000. Why? Don't trade yet. Because there's a tax. Why is there... I wonder if there's a tax in clan. Yeah, it's taxing you a shit ton. Do you see that? Yeah. Tax? $24,000. Yeah. Let's try to go to the dojo and do this instead. Want to exit the trade? This will cancel the trade. Well, I cannot. Do, I cannot go to the dojo, right? No, I think I can drag you with me. Okay. You can't go in on your own. Mm -hmm. So leave Maru's Bazaar. So I might have bumped out of your fire team. So the, what happened was last time, well, the only time I've ever traded, someone invited me into their clan trade, and I didn't have to pay tax. So uh -huh. I'm gonna fly into my clan dojo right now, and then see if I could just send you an invite and pull you in. If not, that should work because that's what happened to me last time. I didn't even have to be in the fire team and get pulled in. I just got an invite. Okay, so... Trade. I see your name. Send a message. Hmm. It says that we didn't complete the quest once awake. What? Alright, see if you can join me. Because I don't see a yeah. way to send an invite to There's you. Your key. There's your key is required. Fuck. I guess we have to wait tomorrow then. Yeah, I don't think you want to pay 24000 So right now, it says clan trade tax is 0%. How did he pull me in? I was not in a clan. I was not part of his clan. Oh, we didn't exterminate an infestation, I guess. We were not done. Well, we had an option to exit, didn't we? Oh, oh. This guy has options to send invites. Let's see.
Let's try something else. Okay. Uh, just clean here. Communications equipment. Join my fire team, and then let's see if I can pull you in. Maybe he did that, and I just didn't realize that's what he did. Because uh -huh. I didn't have a dojo key, and I went into his clan dojo to trade. Alright. I sent you an invite. Enter clan dojo. Do you see a load screen? Yep. Okay, yeah, so I, I can manually pull you in. I guess he did that, and I just never noticed he did it. Okay. There it is. Yeah, 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 I see you. Trade. Waiting for you to respond. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so continuity. Add. Fast deflection. Add. Steel fiber. Steel fiber. Add. Stretch. Add. Go to melee. Reach. Reach. Reach, add, fever strike. See, fever strike, add, offer. Okay. So, oh man, trade tax. There's still 24,000, but there's no clan tax. Those are tax. So there is tax no matter where we go. But twenty four thousand, you should be able to afford it. Uh -huh. That's crazy that I can give you something I've ranked up. And come on, rank zero. Okay. I'm waiting for you to accept it. Trade successful. Okay. Okay, let me give you another set. Trade. So let's see if I if I can trade nothing. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see if it works. It trade didn't remaining work. seven for you. Yeah. Hmm. Rupture. So I'm giving you rupture. I'm gonna mark this. Uh, piercing hit. Piercing hit. Fast hands. Yeah, you definitely want that. E fast hands. A lot of these are common. Trigger. Let's speed trigger. That is an uncommon. Do you want all for your primary? Or do you want four primary, two for your secondary? Uh I'd rather go with uh, primary and uh, blade if you have. Okay, I gave you everything for your blade, so okay. we'll do all primary okay, right now. Fine. Yeah, very good. Oh. Cryo rounds. Yeah, cryo rounds I found was super helpful because you could freeze enemies or slow them down before they can come to you. 
with shots and with melee. So I'm giving you those. Continuous misery. Oh, add items to trade. Okay, so I need to add at least one. That's weird. I have zero dollar trade tax now. Maybe it's because I gave you a gold item. It was worth so much that it taxed me. Right now, all the commons and uncommons is telling me I don't have to pay anything. Oh, you have more money than I do. 274000 yeah. Uh, I attend Science Star, Ember Star, Relic, 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 nope. Mod. Uh -huh. Oh, so the so tax. So if we trade even stuff, maybe the tax gets lowered. Let's see what happens when you add something if your text gets lowered. I'm waiting for it to pop up here. Trick mag. 15% I don't know. No, you want to keep and trick mag unless it's flawed. Well, that's the thing. The flawed version doesn't show up. Uh, yeah. It doesn't even show on the going. icon, does it? Well, yeah, it doesn't show up on the icon. It doesn't show you a 50, crap picture. Stormbringer, 15% electricity, I guess I don't need this one. Let's choose a copper one that you have multiples of. Yeah, yeah. that's what I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, your tra trade... You didn't choose a common one, you chose an uncommon one. Choose a copper one. Blue is higher than copper. Don't make me pay more. I'm trying to farm for Zer. Pack leader. Here's your pet by percentage of the damage you deal with melee attack. Plus 6% life steal link. Organ shatter. How do you know you have many of the same? It has a number on the left hand side. Not the polarity, oh, okay. but on the okay. other side. Yeah, okay. Pick all a right. copper that has multiple numbers that you haven't upgraded. That's all you need to do. There we go. So you can use... I mean, each weapon, you can use the same mod. So you don't have to have multiple mm -hmm. mods. Yeah. 16,000. Okay, now... More trade tomorrow, okay. Yeah. So I left the dojo. Oh, you left? Yeah, we're done with the dojo, okay. with the trades. Now you can go equip all that stuff. Mm. Do you want to tell me what you currently have or discuss what mods you have so you know yeah. if you're combining everything correctly and so just kind yeah. of guessing? Oh. Let's see, scanner blade anyway. Exalted blade. So you're looking at your melee first? Yeah. Silver strike and pressure point. Well, this one is flawed. Pressure point. Yeah. Uh, you can remove everything first so you start fresh. And then and then the exit. Well, so remove everything, exit, and then go back in. That way it sorts everything for you. Mm -hmm. Into flawed, no, unflawed. Uh, yeah, no, uh, exalted uh, blade is done. It's good. Okay. Because I only have two mods left to put, and it's Make one sure of them you're is, uh, replacing. Double. 
Yeah, make sure you're replacing pressure point with the one I gave you, which is not flawed. Or yeah, was yeah. It? Yeah. Yeah, I have one without flawedness. Yeah, I gave you... Uh, yeah. Oh, never mind. You ha you already have it on. You need reach. I gave you reach. Put that on. Yeah, I'm going to put reach yeah. on my scanner. Oh, no. I have... Let's you see. said you had a flawed version, so remove the flawed one and replace it with the... Reach is already done. Okay. Exalted Blade is good. Scanner, okay. which is just a normal blade. Uh, volcanic Edge. Plus 15% hit, plus 15% are you, chance. Are you modding two weapons? Two melee weapons? Well, Exalted Blade is my um, super, but then my oh. normal blade is... Um... So your so, Exalted yeah, Blade you want... is a second melee that's showing up in your loadout? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, okay. And I don't have Excalibur, different... so I've never seen it. Yeah, it has a different ranking too. Yeah. I never got to play. Well, let's go with Excalibur then. So, Vitality, mm -hmm. Flow, intensity, Intensify, and Continuity. So, and I gave you regular versions. I mean, the perfect versions, so make sure you yeah. replace the flawed ones. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to replace them now. Flow. No, I can intensify vitality. Yeah. There Maybe I go. gave you a flawed version of intensify. Stretch. No. Fast deflection. Shield recharge. Well, fast deflection plus fifteen shield recharge. Okay, I'm going to add that. Steel fiber, right? Yeah, for your armor. I think Excalibur has armor. Yeah. So the two most important ones right now is Vitality and or sorry, three most important important ones: Vitality, mm -hmm. Intensify. Actually, there's a lot of them. So make sure you have Vitality, Intensify, mm -hmm. Flow, Continuity, Stretch. So five important ones. Well, my intensify is a uh, is a flawed one. It doesn't matter if that's what, all you have. That's what you're gonna quit. Yeah. The only difference okay. between flawed and unflawed is that you have more upgrades you can add later on. Mm -hmm. So you can you can add more endo into it for fusion. So flawed intensify. My vitality now. Yeah, you need to mod something. How how much capacity do you have left? Uh, Z, just one capacity left. Okay. Um, let's see which one will be more important: ability efficiency, ability duration. So for your exalted blade, um, mm -hmm. is that like you trigger it and it lasts for a certain amount of time? Yeah, it will last for as long as I have energy, so... Oh, okay. Um, I would say do your flow. Increase that one. Even if it's flow? Oh, is it flawed? Yeah, it's flawed, yeah. Flow. Oh, yeah, I didn't give you f perfect flow. Um... So you have a perfect vitality? Yeah, I do. Yeah, then then rank that one up. Cause that'll, that'll give you a little bit more health. Mm -hmm. Continuity. Do you have... Is your streamline oh, the flawed oh. one? I'm sorry? Streamline, is it flawed? Uh, let me check. Yeah, it's flawed. Damn, yeah, okay, just do Vitality then. 
Streamlines nice because it costs less energy for you to run your mm. alts and your spells. So that's really, really key. Especially if it drains all your energy. It'll drain it slower. Rank 1, rank 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, I can reach rank 5 with it. But, but you said you only, you only have one uh, capacity left, so you can only upgrade it one. Yeah. Yeah, so just do one. It should warn you, too. If you try to do two ranks, it'll say it's mm -hmm. too much capacity, it won't fit. Yeah. Okay, capacity zero. Okay, all right. Okay, do you want to do your okay. main weapon? Yeah, main weapon. Quanta level 18, okay. Alright, I have rifle aptitude, already good. Non flood. Wait, hold on. Um, on your flood. On your left hand side. Mm -hmm. Um take everything off first. So hover over an empty spot right above your yeah, mods and I hit did. triangle. Okay. Uh, back out one. Mm -hmm. And then go back in. To your upgrade. Okay. Now, on your left hand side, what does it say for status? If you, it's like middle status. of the. Yeah. 16. 16, okay. Um, usually, you don't want to do status unless it's really close to 100%, because that's your chance. You have a 16% chance of freezing them, 16% chance of doing electrical damage, or whatever you want to mm. add. Okay. So. You don't want to waste uh, capacities on stuff that increases your status unless it's going to really, really increase it. So focus mm -hmm. on other things first. So what else do you have? A drum. Okay. What do you have? Uh, let's sort by rank. Wait, is it rank? Hold on. I was hoping we could sort by, like... Best yeah, to worst. Rank. Yeah. Does it sort by best to worst? It doesn't for me. Mine, mine's still mixed. Po what the fuck? Polarity, drain, rank, name. Okay. I guess it's not going to do it for us. It's doing it by po how much capacity it takes. Mm -hmm. But usually how much capacity it takes is if it's a really good one, it'll take more capacity. So what is all the way mm -hmm. to your left? All the way to my left? Yeah, starting at the most I have significant. Serration. Serration. That sounds it's good. It's flawed, though. Uh, how much capacity does it take? Four of them. After the six capacity, so I can load in everything, technically speaking. Yeah, add serration, because it's just pure damage increase. Mm -hmm. have What's the. Drum. Oh, how many do you have? Do you only have like 10 of them? I have, I have like one. No, of of all your mods for oh, rifles. Five, five. Oh, just add oh. all of them then. You only have five mods. Oh, for, no, I have eight mods for my rifle. Possible. Okay. So add. let's just go down the list. You have ammo drum. Mm-hmm. Uh, keep going. Uh, Bane of Corpus. Uh-huh. Bane of Grenier. Uh-huh. Continuous Misery. Uh-huh. Cryo Rounds. Uh-huh. Fast Hands. Uh-huh. Hush. Uh-huh. Infected Clips. Uh-huh. Piercing Hit. Uh-huh. Rifle Aptitude. Uh-huh. Rupture. Uh-huh. Speed Trigger. That sounds like that's more than eight. Was, was that eight? Sounds like yeah, more than eight. Yeah, no, no, I have. Yeah. Okay. I was, I was hoping you only had eight. <laughs> Jesus yeah, Christ. I have fourteen. Okay. I'll tell you what to add. Go down the list again. I'll just tell you add, 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 or mm -hmm. skip. 
Let's okay. go there. Uh, serration. Add. Amodrum. Add. Bane of Corpus. Skip. Bane of Grenier. Skip. Continuous Misery. Add. Okay. Cryo Rounds. Add. Fast Hands. Add. Hush. Skip. Piercing Hit. Add. Infected clip. What does that say for the description? Plus oh, never mind. fifteen percent toxin. Add if possible. Okay, I have one more, one slot left. Okay. Rifle aptitude. Okay. Skip. Rupture. Give me a second. I gotta see what rupture does again. Plus five percent impact. Add. Okay, I have a speed trigger. Okay. Replace rupture with speed trigger. Okay, and I have stormbringer. No, we're good. Okay, so that's it? Yep. Alright, now my uh, sidearm. Can't, well, can you upgrade any of them? Do you have capacity to upgrade? E Yes, I have seven capacity to upgrade. Okay, upgrade the uh, serration. Okay. Three, if you can afford it. Serration. Rank three. Yeah. Oh, it's max rank, so uh, yeah, I can afford it. Oh wait, wait, wait! Hold on. Were any of these flawed? Don't rank it if it's flawed. Oh yeah, serration is flawed. Don't do it then. Okay. Uh, what about fast hands? Fast hands is not flawed, so I can. Okay, rank that I up three. That. Oh, How I could have given you serration, hit? dude. I have a, uh, I have a perfect serration. Yeah. I could have given that well, to you. Well, we'll do that tomorrow then. We'll yeah, that that's tomorrow. one of the most important ones. So fast hand. Mm -hmm. Rank three. Uh huh. Okay, 70, okay. And then... Right, rank three. Speed trigger. Can you do two on that one? Or how, how many do you have left? Yeah, let's do two on that one. How much endo do you have left? Uh, 240. Okay. How much? I mean, is two affordable? Is it only like... 20 or yeah, 60? Yeah, yeah. It's 60, 60, yeah. Yeah, let's so do two on those. Okay, it's done. And then do, uh... I have two more capacity. Okay. Yeah. Two on... Maybe keep it for tomorrow, serration? Yeah, okay, let's do that. And then you have, uh, secondary. Do you even use it? No. Apparently. <laughs> let's let's run through it anyway. How okay. many total mods do you have? Uh, I have uh, 10, 12. Okay. So remove everything and we'll do the same thing. I'll say add or skip. Okay. Is it a uh, pistol? Like what what is your second? Yeah, yeah. It's a pistol. pistol yeah. Okay. I. Right. Let me see. Pum pum pum. All right, convulsion. Flood. Uh, skip. Hit it, charge, flood. Skip. Hit it, charge. You have two entries? One's a perfect one? Yeah. Yeah, skip. Uh, Hornet strike, flood. Man, did it give you a flawed one? I was trying to give you a perfect one. Maybe it gave you a flawed one. Yeah. Do you only have a flawed one? Yeah, I have a flawed one. Oh, I didn't give you anything. I didn't even make a note of it. The, oh, because we went through this before I asked you if you had flawed or not. You told mm -hmm. me you had yeah. it. Dang, you really need it. Hornet Strike is the most important one. Okay, skip it. Oh, no, okay. wait, add it. If that's all you have, add it. Because that's really important. Yeah. 
No return. No return. Add it. Perpetual agony. Uh, skip. Unless, Just what's your status? Gambit. What's your status chance uh, on the left? Six percent. So yeah. Oh yeah. Skip perpetual agony. Pistol gambit. What's your critical chance on your left hand side? Uh, ten percent. Yeah, skip it. Quick draw. Yes, add. Okay. Seeker. Seeker, seeker, seeker. I don't know what that is. What is it? Plus 0 0.4 punch through. Uh, yes. So punch through is... Oh, wow. Just you use shooting. 10, though. Oh, well, so, remove it then. Is that a gold uh, one? Yeah. Yeah, it's a gold one. Oh, lucky you. Punch through it is you can shoot multiple enemies. It'll yeah. just go through the first Slip. enemy. Slip magazine? Slip magazine. Yes. Suppress? No. Trick mag. Yep. Yes. Okay, that's it. Do you have space for the sleep or whatever it was? Uh, for the one what? that we remove, the tank capacity one. Oh, seeker? No, yeah. no. Oh, okay. I don't have space for it. If you don't have space, but do you still have capacity? No, I mean I don't have capacity for it. Do you have capacity left in general? I only have five capacity left. Okay, let's go back and. No, go back and add the uh, status effect ones, like the toxin or gas or blast or the ones that you started with. You, you were listing oh, it off okay. and you said heat, no. Yeah. Yeah, okay, add heat, the heat charge. of charge. And add a second heat. one if you can. Only yeah, add two, I'll though. Add the... oh, I only added one. It's a flawed, but yeah. You don't have space left? Uh, I have one capacity left, but yeah, okay. I cannot add anything else. So. so on your left hand side, um, at towards the bottom of the description of your weapon, your stats of your weapon, mm -hmm. you have impact, puncture, slash, right? Uh huh. Yeah. And now you should have heat that it added, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you add a second element, it'll list the second element, but then it'll give you a third one. You can combine two elements. So if you add cold and heat, then you get a third element called blast, which does area of effect damage. So mm -hmm. just watch out for that, because that comes in handy later on. But you can only do two at okay. a time, two elements. So we're done with that one. Mm -hmm. All right. Well. Do we get everything? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you're... except for the... Uh, Unless you want to, to check the melee. But, um, oh, okay. I thought we did it. No, we didn't. Okay. So, I have pressure point. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have fury. Yes. I have melee prowess. Uh, depends on your it's, uh, status. It's, it's only 11%. Uh, you don't need it. Uh, I have a heavy trauma. That's 15% yes. impact. Yes. I have volcanic edge. I forgot what that one does. That's 15% hit and 15% status chance. Yeah, add it anyway. You need one element. Yeah. Do you have uh, north wind? I do, but it takes uh, six. I don't have enough capacity. Oh, okay, let's run through the rest. Then. I can use it. I can use it if I remove volcanic edge. Um, no, leave volcanic edge. What else do you have? Uh, fever strike. No. Organ shatter. Uh, I don't remember That's what it 15 does. Fifteen percent critical damage. What's your critical? Uh, Stat, a chance on the left hand side. Five percent. No. 
Unless it's already reach. near 100%. Reach? reach? Yes. Definitely, yeah, yes. But Even if it's flawed. Capacity. Remove the, uh, remove the volcanic and add reach. Okay. Alright, that's it. Okay. And now my exalted blade. That is up right, to you. So, yeah, well I have fury, pressure point, volcanic edge. I guess metaprost is that really, doesn't really care. Fever strike, I'm gonna add toxin. North Wind, Heavy Trauma, Organ Shatter. So now I have Cold, Blast, and Gas. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Blast disappeared, now it's a 0%. But Gas is Toxins. Which one is better, Blast or Gas? Uh, Gas. Wait, no. Uh, Jesus Christ, it doesn't matter at this level. <laughs> Mm. Blast. Do blast so you can do area of effect. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I guess I'll just add many prompts. Okay. All right. It's done. Okay. Uh. Okay. Well, let's do the quest. Yeah. So you're kitted out for the next. Uh, I don't know, three hours of gameplay. If you do like three hours of non stop game, you don't have to worry about mods. So think about mods again when one of your weapons hits level, what are you on? Level like 25. You, mm -hmm. you can't even wait up to 30. So you're, you're pretty set. If you find you're too weak, then you can go back and do more mods, but you're only going to be adding, what is it, seven mod slots? So maybe one more mod you can add when you're 30. So you're kind of set right now. See how that works for you. But yeah, essentially when you're looking at status for things to proc, you know, mm -hmm. like your viral or your blast or stuff, that only happens... Oh, we gotta eliminate everything. Okay. Um, your status is... You gotta look at your, your percentage. If it's like 5% to start with, that's your base damage, and it only increases another 15%, you're wasting a mod slot, because then you're like 20% chance, 2 out of 10 chance that it might happen, where you slow something down or... Do blast damage. If it's like, if it's closer to 100, if it's over 50, then that's that's good to keep, add anything else like that. So it's better to have less mods and um, upgrade your mods. So instead of having all your mod slots filled out, add like three mods, but then rank them up. That's a better space, a better yeah, see, use for yeah. your capacity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's why I was hoping you would use. You said you had a Trinity um, Prime, because that gives you 60 mod slots, and mm -hmm. then you had you have some sort of rifle um, that was from Twitch, that should have 60 capacity. Then you could stack as many as you want. It'd be super powerful. And so using beginner weapons, you could have just had like one really good weapon with really good mods. So if you ever run into a hard boss that you couldn't beat, then you have a solution. You have your kitted out weapon that has 60 slots, you know? Well, I guess that means uh, I will have to rank up. Uh, you got to rank up, rank them up anyway. Um, when you finish ranking your current weapon Excalibur. up to 30 yeah. not not Excalibur the uh, really weird bow the energy bow or whatever mm -hmm. when you finish yeah. ranking that up I'm we can look it up but more than likely it's not going to be used as a component to anything else mm -hmm. so you can sell it and just get rid of it because it's called mastery fodder it's used mm -hmm. so you can hit your mastery rank 2 test you know because it went into your uh, yeah. pool of points 
but you're never going to use it again. There's so many weapons in the game, you're really never going to use it again, so just get rid of it. Otherwise, if you hold on to it, you got to spend real-world money, you got to spend platinum to make more space to hold more weapons. So just save your money, just get rid of the shit you don't need. But, yeah, but instead of ranking that up, if you had ranked your uh, weapon, your prime weapon that you got from Twitch, then at least you could have kept that, and it could have been your, like, fallback weapon, so that's why... Next, just just upgrade your prime weapon first, so we have a really powerful weapon that you can always bust out if you're having trouble. Oh. Or if you have to do, like, the next mastery run test. When I'm done, should I just switch to the prime? No, I would say keep it until you find the prime. You know? What? You, what this is what you're learning. You, ha you, ha uh, you, have to f you have to farm for primes. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you can... I mean, you can if you want to. It costs $60 real-world money to buy a prime character. Oh, no, no. I mean, I have a Twitch Prime character. Yeah, so you can switch to it. You already own it. Mm -hmm. But don't delete yeah. your Excalibur. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just keep it. But when you get your Prime or Umbral, because there's a new version mm -hmm. of Excalibur that's better than Prime, it's called mm -hmm. Umbral. When you get that, you can go back and delete your original Excalibur. Okay. Because you don't need the regular version anymore if you get a better version. Okay, let me check. Have we unlocked Arcwing? No, not yet. We need to do um, we need to do three mission on Mercury to complete quest once a week. What? I think we need to do we need to do the once a week several times. Let me take a look at my codex. Once a week. Uh, I don't want to replay it. Let's see. I'll just Google it. Anyway, we need to do this. Yeah, start it up. All blue nuts on the one side, you unlock the. Um, you the unlock it? Thing. Yeah, so you can send the extractor down so it'll automatically mm -hmm. collect stuff for you. It also unlocks um, night wave missions, which is um, like nightfall, mm -hmm. but a lot easier. Usually a lot easier. Sometimes it, it's as hard as nightfall. But if you finish a nightfall mm -hmm. mission, then it'll give you... Hold on. It's talking to me. Okay, so if you finish the uh, Nightmare mission, um, it gives you a chance at um, a mod that only drops from Nightmare missions. Mm -hmm. And those are usually super important and required if you want to get to mid-tier game. And I haven't gotten all of them yet. So it is, it, there are some that are just super rare. Oh, okay, so come here, but don't go through the door. Mm -hmm. Are you here? Where are you? Okay. You see this door? It has a scanner on mm -hmm. the outside. If yeah. the door opens, you can see that orange thing, mm -hmm. the, the barrier. You can shoot the sensor bar up top. If you don't, as soon as you walk through it, it takes all of your energy away, so you cannot do uh, your Excalibur stuff. They're just gone. Every, mm -hmm. All your energy is just instantly gone. It really sucks ass. 
So missions like this, this is where you want to take care. Make sure you don't blindly run through a door. Because you will be fucked. What? Is this an Eximus? Oh, I have the wrong weapon equipped. I was, uh, I have a rifle equipped. Whoops. Because I was, uh, looking at rifle mods when I was helping you out. Where is this enemy? There he is. Come on, we can go faster than this. We can speed through this. I need your help opening a door. Okay, we can leave. Where is the exit? Down there? I am at the exit. Find me. So it says, after that mission we played, go to Terminus on Mercury. Did we do that? That's a multi-part mission. Okay, no, we didn't do that. It's the same thing we just did. Go to Terminus and exterminate everything. It's only a three-part oh, mission. we did that one. We did that one. Terminus and then we go to... Everything. Yeah, then we go to... Lairs on Mercury. That's the last part of the mission. L-A-R-E-S. Defend the bomb. Once awake, defend the bomb. What do we need to go on Mercury, you said? L-A-R-E-S L-A-R-E-S Larry's? It, it's mm -hmm. not on my map Really? Oh, defend the bomb, oh, this one, okay I see, yeah, I see, I see, okay Uh... We just did calories, right? We did pump I have no idea Okay, okay, alright, let's do this then I see LAR, yes. You know what, I thought, uh, I got the, my dates mixed up. We are going to attempt to use a cascade bomb to destroy mm -hmm. all traces of infested here. The bomb will take time I was going to head out to until it's ready for detonation. today and then stay in yesterday. <laughs> we are going to head out today, but we are not going to. 
Friday. I don't know why. I thought. Hold on. Well, today's Friday. Today's Saturday, right? Yeah, today's Saturday. Saturday, yeah, Saturday, yeah. Oh no, that's right. Today's June one, yeah. Okay, I have no idea. I gotta text someone. No, I guess I am heading out today. Got it? I'm gonna check my text messages here. I'm so confused. No, okay. Are you just using your exalted blade? Uh, just my regular blade, but uh, yeah, I can use. There are turrets around the map, unless you respawn. Oh wait, are there turrets on the low end maps? Maybe not. On the more difficult maps, there are turrets oh. that you can use in case you're running out of ammo or you brought too weak of a weapon. I'm just gonna run a protective ring of fire around you. So hopefully it kills or hurts most things. It uses energy, right? Your fire. Mm -hmm. Uh, only the first time I when I first turn it on, and then it lasts uh, like 35 seconds. It doesn't take energy while I'm running mm -hmm. around. Only to turn okay. it on once. Yeah, it doesn't drain. We're missing an enemy somewhere. Oh, never mind. They're still spawning. Yeah, we have five left. I thought we we had killed everything and maybe we're missing one. So on your Excalibur, when you go into your character mods, like a uh, uh, duration, there are duration mods that you can add. Mm -hmm. So if you have a, you know, a, I don't know, if you have anything you can cast, that has an effect that lasts a while, like mine, where I just run fire. Mm -hmm. Usually it only lasts like 3 to maybe 10 seconds, but with the duration mod I can extend it. But it still only costs me the same amount. Mm -hmm. So if it costs me only 15 energy to cast, instead of lasting for 3 seconds, now it lasts for 35 seconds. So. It all depends on the character and their abilities. You have to switch out mods depending on what weapon, or like what status, I mean what the stats you have on your weapon and your character. 
So you can't have one loadout that's good for everything. Like if you had a rifle that had good uh, critical chance, then I would have told you to add the critical uh -huh. um, mods to it. Because some weapons you can have like 100% crit chance, where every time you do damage, as you are literally only doing critical damage. So there's like a really good bow that does it. I don't remember what else does it. I don't know if any rifles do it. <laughs> All I'm doing is running. <laughs> <laughs> It's just literally going in the circle. I'm weakening everything so you can one shot them, hopefully. Yeah, I see all the small ones just die in my fire. They don't even get to you. The medium sized ones take half health damage. Unless they're fast ones. The fast ones just run straight through and barely get damaged. So this was supposed to be a shock to you. There's a new enemy type uh -huh. called the Infected. I don't know if that... It, it didn't land on me. I was like, okay, whatever, I'm still killing ads. Uh -huh. But I think for some people who played the game for a while before this update came out that added new enemies, this was like, a, oh my god, there's some new enemies. But it didn't have that effect on me. Oh my god, man. This isn't all of them. There's variations to everything. Uh -huh. Like it's revealed later, depending on if you get to endgame modes. Um, some of them just show up in harder missions, they're just not in the easy missions because they're too hard to kill. Like they have ancient corrupted ones that uh, remove all of your energy. Sucks ass. <laughs> I didn't shoot a single time. I maybe melee twice and I did 73% damage. <laughs> no shooting. No hitting, just 73% damage. Did you finish your mi your mission? That should have been the last yeah. one. Looks like... It should be in your inbox. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we need to keep going. We have some two or three more small missions until I reach Suisse. Suisse is your archwing. It's the last requirement to unlock the Mars Junction, which will give me the archwing quest. To the oh, last okay. I thought Arkwing was on this. Okay, no. so we can do these last three and then tomorrow you can, or if you want to do it later today, tonight, you can do the Mars Junction, but I'll call it a night at that point. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll do the Mars Junction myself since it was a... Yeah. And then we can finish the blue node uh, later tonight. Whatever. Later? Tonight? I'm, I'm yeah, leaving in the morning. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm gonna wake up in four hours. <laughs> there is a prisoner here that is vital to our operations. Uh, which fun cup of are you playing for? I don't know. GameStop called me and said I got five, and and they, ha they had ones that's been sitting for a couple of weeks. So I told them I'm coming in in the morning. So don't sell it. Don't give it away. So this is like the spy mission, but we have to just open the prison and rescue a hostage. So there's still... If we want to, we can sneak around. Most people just run straight in, especially if there's multiple people. And then we just open all the doors while we're getting shot. Because 
it's faster to do it that way, and a lot of people can tank the hits. Okay, why am I stuck here? Is there a way? Oh, there is a way around. Go left. And jump straight up. You don't have to take the elevator. Remember to jump straight up, look straight up, and then do like your slide jump. There you go, I saw you. This is it. So if we get seen here, it's going to set off the alarm and start a countdown. That kills the prisoner that we're trying to save. Oh, okay, you went that way. Ah, oh, fuck. We're going to set off the alarms. Yep. He's running for the alarms. Alright, timer's going. we got to hurry up. There's three cells. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is easy. I got him. You, you got him. Yep. Yeah. Let's leave. So, you don't have to protect them. He'll just follow whoever's in front. Um, he'll teleport. I went the wrong way. Yeah, I was like, what? I just assumed they'd be over there and I went. So, yeah, that's the reason you don't need to protect them. If you run quickly, he'll teleport. Uh -huh. So, he doesn't get shot if he's in the middle of teleporting. So just run as quickly as possible. Uh, where? I mean, oh, this way. Okay. And if you have a really good weapon, you can walk up to him mm -hmm. and then hit square. You'll give him your secondary weapon. You can only give him secondaries. Mm -hmm. But that way, if you have a bad team and you're at the end but all the enemies are chasing you, and they're flooding in, you can still have like two guns going. You can have your gun and he can use your secondary gun. So sometimes you still want to get a good secondary even if you hardly ever use it because you can give it to AI characters who will fight on your behalf. I can level up a syndicate, but I don't have the money and I don't have the parts. Which sucks, because all of my XP is just going to waste right now. Also, yeah, when we get back from this mission, check to your left to see if you can sign up for a syndicate. Because otherwise, it's free, I mean, all the XP you're going and get, sh you can, I don't know, it, you're accumulating XP, but it's going nowhere for syndicates. So, you should be signing up for a syndicate as quickly as possible. If it'll let you. So this is a capture target mission. The guy's going to run away from you. And sometimes he'll turn around and shoot you. You just have to knock him down. But once you knock him down, you have to pick him up. I have him knocked down in here. So hold square. And you're gonna scoop him up digitally. Now you capture him. So this is usually the fastest mission. Anytime you need to do a quick mission for, I don't know, 
for loot. Just do a capture mission. Usually you can be in and out within two minutes. Did I go the wrong way? It's telling me to go up. No, I don't need to go up. I go down. Fucking marker. First time it messed up tonight. There it is. I'm at the end. Two minutes, one second. What did I tell you? Two minutes. You went over by one second. Sounds like you are sleepy. No, 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 no. No. How do you feel about Warframe so far? We've just been blasting through everything. Yeah, that's the thing. So I'm like, okay, I mean... You don't get to appreciate anything, because we're like, let's go, let's go! <laughs> I'm leveling up, but, you know... <laughs> Alright, one more, as we say. It's weird, right? Like, there's... I would say there's hardly any story. There's, like, a little yeah. bit of talking, because she's like, oh... There's new, inf there's a new enemy type, and someone's like, oh, let's release all the infected. But that's like five hours in, and that that's it. You know, like that was the whole story. It's really weird. But just wait, when you get to the first actual story, it's fucking amazing. There's so much production behind it. It's eleven out of ten. Perfect. Better than perfect. Exemplary. Is this something you would never play if I wasn't playing it, now that you've tried it? Very likely. Yeah. That's why I, I was thinking I shouldn't invite you or Ronald to play it. But now that you're in it, uh, even, even if you don't like it, you need, you should play it until you get to, uh... Be on the for Sorry, I got the special enemy over here. You should play it until you get to... There it is. Right for A fucking enemy keeps running for me. Oh my god, this enemy's glitching out. Hello? How do I get to B and C? What the heck? I'm lost. Oh, is that up there? Oh, I'm up. Alright, got him. I got a special enemy type. You don't know about it till later on. Oh, this guy's going for A. Okay. I guess I'll go for B. Oh, there's a someone with us? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a random guy. He got A while I was trying to kill the uh, special enemy. Okay, so I'm going for C. So anyway, now that you're in, keep playing until you get to the first story mission, because it is way worth it. Really is worth it. And I really enjoy 
all the different types of gameplay with all the different characters. You only have Triad Excalibur, maybe Trinity. But dude, it gets really good with all the other characters. It's a lot of depth. I don't want to fuck this up. I might be trying to figure out how to get it without triggering anything. Looks like I can just walk up to it. I'm going to try it. Yep. This is ridiculously easy. Ah, I got B. Are you in C? Yeah, I am in C. You got it? Okay. Get to extraction. Almost there though. Someone got Oh wait, you failed. You set did you set the alarms off? Oh, I guess. Oh, uh, that guy left the squad, he got pissed. Sometimes there is a requirement. Like to re reach the next junction you have to do spy mission without getting caught without failing mm. you have to do all three I think there's only one junction that requires that I don't think he was on it I, I don't know why he left he still could have gotten the rewards uh, so we need to redo the mission I guess no I don't think this one requires it did it did it say you have to do it perfectly I don't know I don't think it's this one. I think it's like Neptune that requires it. We're extracting in 50 seconds. If you don't get here. seconds. Oh, I got a new mod, Reflex Guard. Same. Nice. I've never got that one before. There is a new mod they introduced this week, which is crazy. So there are parry and ref reflect mods. Yeah. Like in Star mm -hmm. Wars, you know, when they like reflect the yeah. shots back, but they mm -hmm. do the same exact damage back to them. So, you know, the adds are weaker than you, so when you reflect it back, it just does really weak damage back to them. But they added a mod this week that does like 400% damage reflection. So now people are building reflection uh, characters. I think there's only one character that's viable. But they stack all the different mods, mm -hmm. and then they just stand in the room, and they cannot die because they just kill everything without even touching the controller. It's amazing, and I want to make that. Like, imagine getting on a defense point, and then just leaving your controller, set it down, and walk away. <laughs> they come back 15 minutes later, run around and you know, collect everything, and then exit. That's amazing. I want to do that. So are you done? You're going to the Mars Junction? Oh, uh, yeah. Mars Junction just killed me. The heck? What's that? He has a freezing... He has a freezing... You're playing against Frost? Yeah. Blind him before he freezes you. He starts moving yeah. the second you hit the button. So... You know, slide, jump across the maps, get as close to them as possible so you can catch them with your radio blind. And then do your uh, 
Exalted Blade. Oh. I think I died to him a lot too, but I also had a frost, so it's a frost off. No, I'm dead again. He almost died. Fuck you, man. I've been playing Warframe for over 12 hours today. From like 1.30 in the afternoon. It was a Warframe day. He's dead. You got it? Yeah. Nice. Congratulations. Ten minutes. The capture target has vital information that we will need to extract. They need our subject brought back alive. Use that reactant to open the relic. The reactant is working on your relic. Find more. You fought with honor. Alright then. Now I have the Arc Wing quest available. Nice. That first Arc Wing that you get, I'm still using it. It is absolute shit, by the way. Mm -hmm. And there's not many Arc Wing missions. Unfortunately. Oh, is that the the one where you get your wings, Vinay? Yeah. 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 Okay, let's keep it for later tonight, today, whatever. Yeah, I'm doing an extra mission right now. I don't know how long it's gonna take you. I don't want to ditch you. Mm -hmm. You know, in party chat. Oh yeah, you must possess an offering. This mission, heading to the exit. But do you understand what I was saying? I was I was telling you like, Warframe is like destiny, but all strikes, just strike after strike after strike.
Ronald's online. You're covering my reward screen, Ronald. <laughs> Did Ronald just log in? I didn't see him log in. Oh, he's sending it from his phone. I didn't see him log in. Oh, but, but there's there's a lot of depth for a third person shooter. And then, yeah, just just wait to get to the story. Okay, so we are done for today. Yes. Oh, yes. so many I... appearance I can buy. What are you looking at? Exalted Mordred Helmet. Are you at Barrow Katir? Mm hmm? Wait, you're not at Barrow. You can't get to Barrow. No, I'm, I'm looking at skin appearance. On the market? Um, oh, on I'm your. Oh, at the back of the ship. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Uh.